Happy 45th Woo! birthday, Atari 2600. Ooh. Yay! <laughs> okay, everybody. We couldn't quite get 45 candles on there. No, it's too many. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Everybody get ready to blow out the candles. Yeah. Everybody ready? Three, Three two, two, one. one. <sighs> All right. Yay! Chocolate cake for everyone. Yay. Or at least for us. There's Yay. a piece for everyone. <laughs> there we go. Hoorah! Hoorah. <laughs> <clears throat> so today is the uh, 45th birthday of the Atari 2600 and we're very glad that you all could be here to yes. celebrate it with us yes. by playing some classic Atari 2600 games from 1986 to 1992, the discontinuation of the Atari 2600 console. Correct, correct. So we'll be finishing up our 14 part <laughs> Uh, 14 part oh mega marathon of all the playing through all of the classic Atari 2600 games. Yeah. Every single one of them. Let me get some stats here. Okay. Welcome everybody. Um uh, should we move the cake so we can let the cats back in because we we sure. could not ha we could not keep the door open because we were terrified the cats were going to start licking oh, the cake. They so. were going to cause trouble. Oh, they were. They need to celebrate as well. They do, but the cake is not for them. Okay, let's get those cats back. There we go. Get those cats in. I used a sense of nostalgic. Just to get a little bit of powdered sugar on our lovely chocolate chip cake. So I think that's about right. There we go. There's there are the kitties. There's the sprite. Okay. <clears throat> and we will dig into the cake once we finish yes. the entirety of because our Because then play. we can celebrate. Yes. Um, so, so far we played uh, 41 plus hours of uh, Atari 2600 games. 41 hours. Wow. And today we'll play about three hours okay uh, three plus will which will equal just about 45 hours for the 45 years oh my gosh um, well that worked out well didn't it, it? Did. <laughs> i was just adding it up and i was like oh okay yeah uh same number of years old, old that the atari uh vcs is mm. um at the end of this broadcast we will have played through 448 games wow unique games uh that were released through its initial run wow uh so thank you to everyone who have watched through this whole marathon i know there are a couple of you out there that watched every single moment of it and a lot of you have a lot of knowledge of these games yes. you've played a lot of these games we have not necessarily so very thankful for <laughs> your tips and tricks along the way yes. too or we'll need your them little today hints. as well of course because unfortunately we have not been able to read every single manual for these games so it's just a matter of plugging it in and doing what you can but yeah. uh yeah um, some stats okay. on uh, the comp companies that released 10 or more Atari 2600 games. So we'll games. call them the big the programmer big, yeah, programming the big companies. Houses. They're developing, yes. Um, Atari put out 125. They're the biggest. Wow. Uh, then Activision with 44. Parker Brothers mm. with 21. Mm. Uh, 20th Century Fox with 17. Imagic with 17. M Network with 16, Coleco with 13, US Games with 13, Star Path with 12, Spectre Vision with 11, Tiger Vision with 10, and Apollo with 10. And every wow. other one is nine or below nine that or they below. released. Wow. Yes. So, want to thank all the subscribers scrolling beside Tanya. Uh, Al Nefar Arkham H, Armscar Coder, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Atari Patch Quest, BR Poker, Buck Owens, Caffeman 2D, Charles Whelan, Char Colonel Lama, Dino Den, if you see Dr. Moo, Cows, Gopher Man, Great Defender, Go Ground Troop, Rosier Rapper, I Steal New Newspapers, Johnny WC, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader K, V8080, Lauren TDZ, Mark Yanis, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mick Tao. Mr. Zarno, Mr. Fix, Mighty Funster Packer, VG Coog, R. Enschwitz, R7, RC70, Render Ghost, Brandless VG, Smitty B, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, The D Train, The Wallace, Lost Cartridge, The Welsh Band, Tiki Dan K, Tifos, Trek MD, 2600, XCAN X, and uh, thank you for supporting the show. If you want to support it, click subscribe. <laughs> it's free with Amazon Prime or not free without it. Uh, we're still sick. Uh, you play too long on average. <laughs> well, this is true. Almost eight hours, yeah. 
It happens. Some, yeah, I mean, we have intros, we have extros, that's including all of those. And then some yeah. of the games we did play a lot more, like those two games. A couple, yeah. On the last episode, we played for yeah, and quite we, a bit longer. And, so. and we actually also showed those games before. Yes. So it's Yeah. It's some a got a little variable. bit more play, but... Yeah. yeah. Surprising, I thought a Magic's output would have been higher than Parker Brothers at 20th Century Fox. I didn't realize a Magic did so few. Uh, quality over quantity. I guess so. Magic's games were, on on the whole, quite good. And Activision, I mean, 40, oh 48 or whatever is still a lot. Yeah, that's 44, a lot. But they didn't touch Atari's output, obviously. Oh my god, no. Yeah. Well, Atari had a big head start on all of them, because nobody knew point. how to program for yeah. a while. And, <laughs> That's a good point. And then uh, the Activision developers left Atari to form Activision. So. Yeah. Um, quite a good output from them. So we have about 40 today to finish it off. Here's the list. I have more today than yesterday. Do you? Ooh. Yeah. Of actual cartridges. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, we're still sick. I'm very sick, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so... There's a bunch of PAL games today, okay. which we're going to have to emulate, emulate because fair we enough. don't have a PAL system. Yep. Um, and there's also one th that uses uh, a light gun, which we're also going to have to emulate mm. by using the mouse, because okay. uh, Stella does emulate the light gun with a mouse. Okay. So you just aim on the screen and click it, Okay. so that works really well. <laughs> Yes, I've been drinking a lot of tea, yes. actually. <laughs> um, I think that's all the notes. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. There's two that were missed slash um, not included where they supposed to. I found some more information. And also, uh, oh, treat time. Is that muted? Why did not that not come up? Well, I don't know. Weird. Okay, well, it's... Oh, it's waiting for me to log in. Oh, no. I will re-ding it so these cats go nuts. Yes. Because that's always the fun part. Yeah, it so is the fun part. Watch. I'm going to actually... This is a good chance to go to the cat cam um, before it rings so you can see these cats go nuts in okay. full. Okay, so... Is it going to work now? Uh, it is just didn't log in properly because it needs an update. Okay. Yeah, it's there. Let me go to the right menu so I can trigger it again. Thank you, Mike. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Mike Littell. Start off right so the cats can get some treats because they won't get cake. Uh, Twitch channel points is that. Oh, I think I can trigger it from here. Okay, ready? Is it, you can see Atari sleeping yeah. or laying down. All relaxed. Oh, he's stretching out. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's only the bell. Oh, well. They know what that means. It didn't trigger properly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so cute. Oh. oh. You should be able to pay PAL games on art. 2600 RGB is not what you've got. Um, yeah, I tried, but the line count goes off the screen <laughs> it yes, doesn't yes, yes. quite work like it looks okay it does some lot um screen rolling too so it doesn't quite work um because the uh it doesn't play pal because it doesn't have pal output so it, it does play it and the palette is right but it doesn't quite work that way unfortunately um and um the retro tank can accept PAL input, so that's fine. It's just the 2600 is not a PAL 2600, um, so it's, for some reason it doesn't it doesn't work. I just tried it, and the bottom is cut off because I guess it's expecting X number of lines because PAL has more resolution. I don't know. Work for me 2600 RGB over SCART RTX 5X. I'll share the settings if interested. Uh, a little too late right now, unfortunately, I think. Um, it's okay. Emulation looks fine. Hey, Arena Foot! This little black Welcome. cat's a monster. Hit the bell, Atari. <clears throat> Speaking it. of cats, that link looks suspiciously like it could work now. Almost. We're still working on it. It's give almost. It, give, it a, give it a harder hit. <laughs> the black cat's just like, bang, bang, bang! And the gray cat, come on, hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Very expectant. Atari's left-handed. He cannot ring the bell without moving. Hmm. 
He did you feed him? He's very yes, but if but the gray cat is getting look. I know, I know, I know. He's not understanding why he's not getting. You fed. know, he he knows he gets it eventually. He's just going crazy. Yeah, Tari's left, and Sprite is right-handed. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. Oh my goodness, you guys are monsters. He's like, didn't you hear me? Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. <laughs> Atari believes He's in, in subtlety. subtlety. I know. Yeah. Oh, they're adorable. <laughs> <laughs> you are a little monster cat. Oh, Sprite is a monster. A little harder, a little harder. Oh. He's not quite hitting it hard enough, but he he's hearing the other cat ring the bell, so I don't want to not give him, the, yeah. give him his treats. Here. Okay, okay. let me get the first game ready because I do have the cartridge for that. Okay. And it's a, oh. Here. It's a uh, Zeller's cartridge, actually. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Is that it? Good. <laughs> Silly kitties. Uh, called Challenge. There you go. <laughs> Challenge, and it's got, for some reason, the Ghostbusters on it. Uh, fighting some demon. Um, so it looks nothing like this, the actual game. Oh, really? It's not Ghostbusters, has nothing to do with Proton They're really packs interesting, those Zellers ones. They have really, Very really nice uh, labels on them. Yeah, like full, <coughs> full artwork on that. Yeah. Hello, hello Adam, hello Coffee Cup Arcade, hi Packrat, everyone's joining us now. Yeah. You've got your coffees in, or... You've started day drinking, depending day on where you are in the world. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's actually not a terrible game. It's, it's a very limited game. Let me get up the timer as well, so we can get this started correctly. Carl G, that's an interesting thought. Different pitches of bells for each cat, but I just have a feeling uh, Sprite would just ring whatever you put in front of him. <laughs> different pictures? Pitches, pitches, oh, pitches, so that they sound different. Oh yeah, that would be that would be kind of coffee cool. cup arcade day drinking with gin and cranberry. I'm still on my coffee, but <laughs> okay. Well, gin and cranberry is a good choice. Countdown timer because it needs to be reset every single time <laughs> for some reason. There we go. Okay, let's switch over so we can see the game. And it's, it's not a bad game. Fun Vision. Weird. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have that note. And it's made by Fun Vision. Mmm. Uh, yeah, okay, there you go. Challenge, this is called? It's called Challenge, also called uh, My Way. My Way. Made by Otto Versand uh, by Fun Vision, put out in 1983. We did miss this one. Uh, we didn't get to play this one. Oh, I see. 83? We yeah. missed. Oh, okay. Um, so we want to make sure we don't miss any. Hey! hey! Oh my god. Oh. Cat water. No, he didn't touch it. Oh. He couldn't quite reach it. This cat... Loves to touch. Likes touch to put his outside. paw into water. We have a bowl, a And he goes bowl. like this in it. He wades no. in it. No! Don't let him like get up there too, because last time he spilled oh, all you over. You can see his little fluffy brain <laughs> working. Cat catculating. Cat, yes. What he's oh hey hey, hey. down. <laughs> naughty. He's okay. such a naughty cat. Sorry, you can't see him, but he's being very bad. Yeah. Okay, yeah. what am I doing? Uh, you are going up and going around all those things and missing the piggies. If those are things. Like, what? don't let what those am I trying touch to do, you. Though? Up, you go all the way to the top, then move over to the left, and then go all the way down again, around the maze. You can see the maze. I have to go to the left? Yeah, see that maze? Oh! Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, this is cartridge number 686. Oh, gonna start the timer. Even though you'll like this game. 686 5612. Oh, gosh. We bought a powered cat water dish with a little waterfall and a filter system for something like that for that reason. We did have uh, we did have one like that. A waterfall. It, the filter needed to be cleaned constantly, oh, God. and I felt really bad because it always looked like really gunky when you cleaned it out. And I'm like, well, that's what they're drinking. So I um, we switched over to a water dish <clears throat> so that. Um, oh gosh! Oh, my goodness, I haven't got past the first one. <laughs> the first round. Um, because it's so much easier to clean, you just throw it in the dishwasher, you throw it in the sink, you clean it out, but the thing with the filter, 
And after a while, the, the, the motor, we went through like three oh. motors on them. <laughs> yep. And the motor would just stop or would get bleh, 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 and it wouldn't work. It was a lot of work and, and expensive too. And a water dish is nothing. You complained about it. I didn't complain about it. Well, I didn't actually think. It? I had to clean it most of the time, so oh. that's why I complained about it. It wasn't that bad. Uh huh. It was not bad. I just, I didn't like how dirty it got. And yeah, I knew but it did give them drinking. really clean water, which was nice. Mm. Oh. <laughs> it's hard. It is really hard. Uh, player zero missile, player one missile, ball, and replicated t uh, twice each. Uh, yes, most likely for the vertical lines. Because there's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So they're using three. Uh, the two missiles and the ball. But the, the missiles would have to be green and pink. So... It would definitely be the ball. It might be six copies of the ball. Mm, unlikely. Because uh, the pigs aren't flashing and your green bird isn't flashing. So it's not the missiles, I don't think. Does that look like it's at 10 hertz? <laughs> it might be. It's pretty flashy. If those were characters, they'd be a lot more obviously oh flashy. Goodness. Oh, he made it further than I before. I could go down. What is going on? It must be the ball. I think it is the ball six times. Well, no, no, no. Some of them are green. Actually, the first two are green. So, yes. So it is using one of the... Uh, it's using, let's say, missile zero. And then four at uh, 15 hertz. That makes a lot of sense, actually. The music is harsh. Sorry. The alternate Pretty harsh music. It's hard. Challenging. It's hard. It's called but, challenging. But, <laughs> yeah. But uh, you can kind of see how you get used to the patterns. And... Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> you can't go in the first go, can you? Yeah. You have no, to wait a bit. No, you can't wait. The black cat is still going after my water. Of course he is. Little sprite. You're trouble. Fun, though. That's a nice, it's a neat concept. Yeah, I haven't... Mr. Zarnowoop says, do you know anything about this game? Is it a Zellers exclusive? Uh, don't it, think any of them were. Yeah, this one is. Is it? Uh, this one is it is only through Zellers. Really? Uh, I mean, it it was re it was initially <coughs> through Zellers, yes. Um, it's also called My Way, so it was released otherwise in uh, other territories. Oh, I see. Uh, but... but it was initially... It's just a Zellers just release. Zellers. Interesting. Yeah. I think Good, old it's the only Zellers. One. Yeah. Good old Zellers. Good old Zellers. There's a news story recently about Zellers making a comeback, and then you read into it, and it's like, uh, they're just coming back online and kind of have some branding and like the bay or something. I can't remember. Carl G. It really seems like this could be improved by someone half decent at homebrew. Feel like that's a request, Carl yeah. G. Yeah. It's a simple enough game. Yeah, the flicker on the vertical lines isn't too bad. Like you don't you don't care yeah. about it too much, so it's it's fine because you don't look at it and it doesn't really oh. have any influence on the game. Oh, oh. We have a similar homebrew. Thrust twenty six says uh, elevator a miss. Yes. So it's a, yes. a similar concept where you're very. Oh, God. Yeah, I know. It's easy to get squished. Yeah, Elevator and Miss is very, very similar. Uh, it's turned on its side, though. Oh. Because uh, there's elevators going up and down that you have to avoid. Ah, so it's the going, opposite. Ah. And, and you're going back and forth, going up the floors of, like, that the, makes the sense. elevator. That makes sense. That makes sense. I think it does it to a better degree, because yeah. it doesn't have to do the flicker. Ah, <laughs> Ah, I'm glad that exists. Yeah, it, it seems like a pretty decent concept for a game. Next one is Lily Adventure. This was pointed out by uh, Thomas Yenich that we missed it. Um, oh, pointed out. I thought you said put out by Thomas Yenich. No. I'm like, Thomas Yenich was yes. active? And... He's old school. Yeah. He's old school. <laughs> no, 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 he wasn't. Um, it, that we missed it in our list because it really looks Sorry, what was Lily the Adventure. Lily Adventure. Because it really looks like another game. Bobby goes home. Is it pal? Like it really looks like Bobby goes home. Okay, you can jump. 
Uh, and you can steer your jumps, so you gotta go to the right. Oh, I see. It reuses a lot of... Oh, that was really close. A lot of uh, sprites from Bobby Goes Home as well, but the screens so are very cute. different. And uh, it was listed as, like, the um, female equivalent of Bobby Goes Home. Oh, is it a she? Yeah. Lily? Lily, yeah. Um, so, uh, this put out by Home Vision. Oh, actually, this oh, is PAL, is this? but it's working. So some PALs will work. We'll try them at first. Um... <clears throat> Because this one doesn't go off the screen. Looks fine to me. It's filling the screen though. Ah! Oh, my oh, just made it. Yeah, the dimensions are different. It's showing up okay, so we'll uh, we'll be fine with this. Is it just a run and jump kind of a game? Yep. Yep. I like it. I I like Bobby Goes Home too. I like this um, type of jumping. It's like a platformer almost, especially with the uh, moving. Yeah, that bird. Oh my god. Definite Donkey Kong uh, sound <laughs> vibes going on. Oh, ah! you hit the bird. The most annoying bird in 2600 history. It's pretty bad. What was the other birds? There was another game where the, the birds were constantly at you and you're climbing up the right-hand side. So many games. Um, this is also called... Oh! Yeah, that was actually... Wilma Wanderer. Uh, this is also made by Auto Versand. I'm not sure if I believe that's the same person did the last game in this one, but that guy's stuck. That's good. Yeah. Um, it's PAL game. Get out of there, Only. Bird. There's only a PAL version of this. Oh, you jump way too oh, early I there. Know. Uh, VCS 83117 is the cartridge number. Also put out in 1983. Some date, 1983. Yeah, the, um, the top graphics are nice. And they even put in like little turtles at the bottom for no good I reason. I love it. It's just decoration. They don't. They don't. The background like... graphics are excellent. Yeah, a little ah. path up to mountains. Uh oh. Those are the guys from. Um, they really looked like the guys uh. from Jungle Hunt. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have waited. Colors are off. Yeah, That's I don't want to. I don't want to touch my button. I don't know how. I don't know how many cycles there are to get back to a normal color. Can't remember. Is there four? Bird! You are correct. That is the most annoying bird. <laughs> you just have to stay back then. It's like, so don't... hard! Just take it bit by bit. Oh, bird, get out of there! Oh, there's your jump over him and the pit. Same time. Oh, maybe oh, that's too dangerous. No. Oh, sorry. Bad suggestion. Terrible suggestion. <laughs> Do you get infinite? No. No, I have three. Counting down. Oh, oh no. too soon. Way too soon. And uh, pitfall alligators at the bottom. Three? Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because there's a bunch of pal today, so... Where's my button? Look at this bird. Look at him. Oh, there pretty. How pretty is that? That's the bad one, so there's four. So which one is it? Probably the green. No. That one. All right. It's gonna be all screwed up now. There you go, you did it. That was the hardest level so far. Oh my goodness, the bird. Was there ever a C-cam exclusive? Nope. Nope. Oh no! Oh. How do I get what? that? Right to the edge. Oh. You probably have to go right to the edge. Very, very, very edge. There you go. Oh, not quite right to the edge. We can do it. One more try. We'll reset the time. Oh, it's done. Use it's the okay. turtles? Really? You can jump on the turtles? Oh. Lies. <gasps> you can jump on the turtle. They do have a use. Wow. That's, That's amazing. really cool. Uh, this is not emulated. This is through a real machine playing PAL with the PAL button. Was that the colors? No, it's a button on... Um, 
my VCS. Um, it's part of the RGB mod so that you can play PAL games. Uh, okay, you're not. You're done. I'm done. That's you're fine. Done. It's beautiful. Look at those backgrounds. They're stunning. This one's a bit weird. Next one's track and field. Oh, I didn't get out my track and field <sighs> controller. Oh no! Which is essential. Thank you, Thrust. Good, good uh, tip. Yeah, very good tip. Where's my track and field controller? Mm. I don't know. Where is it? It's not in the wall, is it? On the behind the door? No. That was too big. Oh no, we've lost a track and field controller. No, this, it's essential for playing the Sims game. Well, skip to the next one and the only time I'll play and you can search for it. You're out of order. Do the next one. Okay. And then you can search for it while I'm playing the next one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the next one is track and field. Okay. Uh, from June 1986, but we're gonna skip ahead by one. Yes, because you're gonna find the controller. And play Junior Pac-Man. Okay. Woo. You can torture yourself with Junior Pac-Man. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's gonna go not so great. It is hard. Yeah. Hard. It's a hard game. I can barely make it. So, level who one. made this one? Junior Pac-Man, made by Atari. Ava Robin Cohen. Cool. October 1st, 1986. Trek MD says, never seen that one before, it looks great. <laughs> Lily Adventure? Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Junior Pac-Man is very well done and it is hard, hard, hard. <laughs> it is very well done. I'm not very good at regular... Uh... Oh, Junior Pac-Man. Oh, I know. Oh, sorry. Not Baby. Junior. Yes. Played Junior before. Oh my god. Get it in there. Oh my god. Okay. Good luck. Oh. Excellent. Restart? Oh, I just started. No, the, the timer. Oh, yeah. Well, we're gonna play till I find my track and field. <laughs> Controller. Uh. Might be behind the door. Oh, oh, they're so fast! They are <laughs> deadly fast. There. So hard. Oh gosh. Gotta love Pac Man though. This is a pretty decent uh, Pac Man. Oh, it's very good Pac Man. It's just super hard. I can't make it past the first level. Oh, I think oh. I did once. Oh, they catch up to you. Holy crap. <laughs> what is going on? controller. I have no idea where it is. Are you taking my spot? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, Ooh. he's digging in. Is he? He's digging in. There we go. I don't know where it Come is. On. That's super weird. Hey, hey, you're bad. Um, Junior Pac-Man, <sighs> October 1986. Ooh. Uh, CX26123. Oh. You have to play with two ghosts to be able to make it to the other mazes. I usually get to the second level with all four ghosts. The game actually implemented slowing down while you're eating dots, which helps the ghosts to catch ow, up. Ow, 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 ow! Hey. Cat! He is sharp. He's a sharp baby cat. He's naughty, too. Whew, it's pretty fun, though. <laughs> it is. It's fast paced. It's like uh, Miss Pac-Man on, on uh, fast speed, right? It's so much harder. Um, so, Nostalgic says, if you want to get away from the ghosts, 
stop eating the pellets. So go down a path with no pellets. Yeah, but you do need to eat the pellets. Yeah, but if your one's chasing you, ah. don't don't eat pellets if you I can. I also find the controls a little dodgy. Oh, controls. That's okay. Was that hard in the arcade too? Uh, I swear I've played this in the arcade and it is hard. The arcade is horizontal. Um, is it? But they've obviously changed it to vertical for 2600 because oh. 2600 can handle vertical. Oh, not done yet. No, you can play. Vertical play. a lot easier. Thank you. You are a naughty kitty. But you can't see the whole board at the same time. Which this guy. Oh my god. This guy. Trouble. <laughs> silky silky trouble. Silky trouble. He's very soft. Oh, he's so soft and silky. Soft but not fluffy. No, he's not fluffy. He's a silky cat. It's like touching satin. Yeah. So nice. With to claws see. and really sharp teeth. <laughs> sharp and soft at the same time. <laughs> yes. Yeah, very, Just very good port. Yeah, excellent, excellent port. Great gameplay. Do not fall for his cuteness, yeah. No, he'll lure you in. Yeah, and then he'll drink all your water. <laughs> I do love Pac-Man, though. It is simple yeah. fun. It is. Perfect game. You're doing very well. I can run away from them pretty well. Though. If you don't eat the dogs. Oh, fight. Cat fight. Cat fight? Oh, he's so mean. Careful. That was Get a away. great tip, actually. Run away! Oh, no! Oh, oh, dead. Okay, we'll have to play track and field without the controller, mm. sadly. But You've not been able to find it then? No. Oh, it was on A. I don't know if that made it harder. Oh my god, some cartridges do not fit in a SIG switch. Ooh. Track and field. Track and field. Uh, June 1986 by Atari CX26125, also called Los Angeles 1984 Games. Okay. <clears throat> I have not played this that much, so... Uh, there's only three buttons on the track and field. Yes. Uh, left, right, and the button. So, it depends on the thing that you're playing. Left, so. right, and button. Here, I'll show you. No, but how do you do it with the joystick? Left and right, and the button. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so it's not three buttons. Yeah. No. So, this is hurdles. Oop, I fouled. Oh no, it's, it's not hurdles. It's just, it's just a dash. Another cheater dash? Looks like a dash. Oh! Of course he gets a second one. Exact same timing? 10.63? Ooh! Wow. Okay, long Hi. jump. Oh, that is a terrible angle. Nobody can jump that high. He's got diapers on. <laughs> and his legs are a different Four color than his face. 60. Is he wearing tights? Uh, <laughs> second round? Yeah, second try. Uh, so you want to get like 45 degrees, probably. Or 30. No, that's, that's probably pretty good. pretty good. Oh, look at it. Look at oh, that. yeah. Foul. Oh, I just went over the line. Oh, no. Really good graphics on this. It's fantastic. I love the uh, spectators in the back. There we go. Oh, oh, not a bad angle. Angle goes up very fast. Didn't foul, though. Oh, that wasn't as good of a jump. 821. Excellent. I only get three tries. Okay, so your turn, whatever it is. It's just what? left and right and the button. So this will be angle as well. So what am I doing? Left and right. And then you press the button to throw it. Or hold it. Oh. 
and it'll go in at an angle, and then you let go of the button, most likely. Um, so this is made by Seth Lipkin and Jack, Jacques Hougon. Oh, that's a good one. Um, put out by Atari. Hell yeah, 56 meters. It's funny, it was put out in 86, but it was for the Los Angeles 1984 games. Commemorating it two years later. Oh, oh, 30, 40, 50. Nice, 63. Nice. Found it easier to put the controller on the side and push up and down. Yes. One over? One over. Or, oh, what? I don't understand. Cool. Is there only that many? It's only three? Novice. But it showed hurdles. <laughs> Is it because we did badly? Maybe we didn't make uh, it on to the next round. That's probably why. <laughs> just four vents. I know something didn't quite seem right there. I think we just did badly because it's an that's arcade. That's probably game, true. Right? Oh, no. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh. So bad. I think I have to do it with my right hand. It's probably easier with the buttons. You were a little short. Good speed, though. 9.37. That was pretty good. CPU adjust. Yeah, as soon as, like, oh, it comes to the end, the CPU goes, I got my second yeah, one. Yeah, and woof. <laughs> Ten. Mm. Fifteen seconds left. Excellent graphics. Good controls. Oh, the bottom of the screen shows the score needed to qualify. Oh, okay. So you just need a five on this okay. one. Okay. That's why we didn't qualify. I want to play this more. <laughs> Some of these games, like we're these gonna have to go back to Olympic games. We're gonna not play very much of them. Well, you know what? The next time there's like um, a sports event, we'll have to pull out all the themed games. Yeah, that's right. That'd be fun. <clears throat> the next one is uh, Midnight Magic. I do have the cartridge for this, an excellent pinball game. Oh, these red cartridges just don't fit. Ugh. Oh, we can play two players. Ooh. And I think it's left and right for the, yep, yeah, there you go. Oh, there's, <laughs> There's no double. Oh, it made it back. Oh my god. Uh, forward for both. No. 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 Okay, left and right. No. That button for both. No. Just. Oh gosh. I wish I could do both. Oh, ba bought back. Back is for back both. Back is both. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Great one. Love pinball. My dad had a Royal Guards machine. Oh. It's also a big fan of pinball. Oh, I have to use a chat. What? Which is fine. Oh, number two. Which is better anyway. I would love to have a pinball machine, but the maintenance. Oh my mm. god. Oh, I would I love it. I can't imagine the maintenance of a, on a pinball machine. Well, and also we have no space. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's always an issue. I would love to have a pinball machine. Yeah. It'd be so much fun. An arcade room. <laughs> yeah, we would need another room. A well, games room. But all the well, this consoles. is basically the games room. Yeah. There's no space for Definitely a pinball machine. Definitely no space machine for here. a pinball machine. You need a second games room. <laughs> yeah. A second games room. Someday, maybe. Maybe. Not with these interest rates, friends. <laughs> oh God, no. Oh, oh, still saving me there. Still saving me. Good. Don't disappear. I think it's on easy mode, that's why. A game's house, not just a room. <laughs> yes. Separate house. Uh, now we go visit. Your turn. Oh my gosh. Really? 
Oh, oh it bounced back saved. up. Pinball machines don't do that. <laughs> There's, I don't think there I've seen a pinball There is a very game. slight delay with hitting the, the... Is there? Yes, there is. The left and right? Ugh. It's a little bit. You have to almost anticipate the ball a little bit. It's a lot. It has to calculate a lot. Yeah. And also the movement, it takes a bit to, to start moving, right? The, there's animation to it. Yeah. So it feels like But this reminds me of whatever Midnight Madness or whatever pinball game I had on my Commodore 64. Well, it is It is this one. It's Midnight Magic. Midnight Magic, yeah. It yeah. is the same one. I thought so. It, it has a different name. It's like Dave something's Midnight Magic. Yes, 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 yes. So That's it's, it. It's the, it's, same, it's the same one. And it's uh. an excellent, excellent game. Trek MD says, I wish I had a basement. I'd make it into an entertainment room. Unfortunately, we oh. cannot have basements in Florida. Oh, well, it's already uh, flooding yeah, enough. Yeah, you, you have to be somewhere well, very cold <laughs> where they build the foundations below the frost line, I think it is. I don't know if that's... Oh, my God. I'm building There's... a basement under the uh, water table is not a good idea either. Well... That's I think that's why there are such big basements in, in cold climates. Like, they're basically the heights of, of rooms. Right. Is because of the frost line. They they build foundations below the frost line, but right. I could be wrong. Ah, oh, terrible, terrible, terrible. Yeah, this is an awesome... Like, the detail that they were able to... I love it. ...do in this game is astounding. And the physics is quite decent. Like, it's believable. Yeah. Like, the arc of the ball, it's a little slow. Ugh. It's a little slow, but it's fine. Like the, oh, the ball it doesn't does... have to be summer cold to have basements. Maybe easier in cold climates. I just, for some reason, I think that's why basements are really deep in cold climates. Hmm. It's not the only reason people have basements, but I think there is something about building foundations below the frost line. Because some places have basements, but they're like crawl spaces. Their yeah. foundations are really, really shallow. Anyway, I, I am not a builder. <laughs> <laughs> but basements are pretty awesome if you can get Next one. Next one is Solaris. And I have the cartridge for this as well. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hope I'm not damaging one or the other. Uh, oh, they changed the size of their... Uh, this one has incredible graphics, too. Mm. This is the era of astounding graphics. Okay, go, play. Oh, wow. Look at this. Yeah. What am I doing? Uh, you are avoiding those things or shooting them. Oh, my God. What is going on? Uh... I have not played this. <laughs> I thought it was a shooter. No, oh. it's like one of those games where you... What? There's two of these. Look at those. Look at that. You pick that guy up. Forward to speed up. Oh, shoot it. Oh my god. Was I supposed to do that? I don't know. I'm very confused. People are going to yell at us. <laughs> for not knowing this is well, this you know, this is what it is. Yeah. So you pick another place to go to, probably I, one I with. Can't. What is going on? Oh, those block your. Oh. Okay. I don't know where I'm going. I'm. This okay. reminds me of that other Avoid game. Avoid the planets. <clears throat> I feel like picking up people on planets. Am I supposed to destroy the planets? Uh, yeah, it looks like. Nice, like pushing the level of 2600. Yeah. Oh, now it's a space fight. Oh my god. There's a lot going on in this game. Yeah, obviously we don't know what the hell we're doing. <laughs> oh, that's it. Uh, Solaris, put out by Atari. Uh, November 86 by Doug Neubauer. Also called The Last Starfighter. Star Raiders 2. I can see why it's called Star Raiders 2. Uh, universe. CX-26136. I don't know. Shoot all the little purple things. I'm just shooting stuff. There you go. I don't know. Is that sprite scaling? Well, it would be multiple sprites. 
definitely not sprite scaling, unless it's like doubling in quad, quadruple. I'm intrigued thing. by this game and would like to play it at some point in the future because I yeah. have no idea what's going on. I'm just shooting well, things. The, probably have to shoot the blue thing. Primarily. Well, I killed one of them. Primarily, but you have to also defend yourself from the purple things. Is it shooting out purple things? <clears throat> Also reverse handle. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Well, there is kind of there is sprite scaling on the 2600. Like literally, there is. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that killed me. It's funny that you can like destroy planets. <laughs> I guess they're not planets. They're not as big as planets. Kill the mothership. Thrust says. Kill it. Is that it? Yeah. I killed one of them. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, there's two of them now. I think, you're, I think you're hitting them, but I think, they would... I think you have to get them in the center of your screen where your shots end up. No, you're too close to them. There is a radar at the bottom, but I know, but going, I can't quite going nuts. figure out what the radar. It's written by the same guy. Oh, Design I got logic. one. Oh, how did you do it? I don't know, <laughs> but I did. Design the logic for the Pokey chip and also wrote the original Star Raiders for the 8-bit. Ah. <laughs> no, I just, I'm trying to get him in my sights. Like I'm trying to use the thing at the bottom. Yeah, it's like one, zero, go six down, go six up. My fuel is, I'm dying. Yeah. I'm sure you probably hit a switch and, yeah, I have no fuel now. Oh, you put a pokey on your concerto. Excellent. There we go. That deserves a lot more. Uh, um, way more time. Way I more have time. no idea what we're doing, but it looks amazing. <laughs> Next one's Desert Falcon, which is a much more simple shooter. Oh, my God get these red cards in and out. <laughs> that is not the right color. No, it's very blue. Oh, there you go. That's the right color. Which one, sorry? California uh, Games? Desert Falcon. No. Desert Falcon. <laughs> Just randomly picking one. Yep. <laughs> Okay, let me uh, show you this. Okay. Actually, well, we can you play, can play it. You can play it. It's I'll easy play or first. hard? <laughs> uh, it's easy, but it's just that the controls are a bit... So you press down to mm -hmm. land, press backward to uh, fly up. Mm -hmm. So you shoot, and you have to go collect things on the ground. Oh my god. That came out of nowhere. Yeah. Okay, your turn. So you can hop around. How? You have to, how? You have to land. Oh, and collect those things that are on the ground. Go down. There you go. Get it. There you go. Get those things. Oh. <laughs> it's it's really? challenging. It is quite challenging. Cute. Hop, 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 hop. Ah! Hop, 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 hop. You can't hop. easily go through those things by the looks of it. It's like a hopping shooter. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so this is also put out by uh, Atari. January 1987. We're into 87 now. There's only uh, four games in 86. Uh, made by Bob Polaro, uh, CX. Oh, come on. Uh, 26140. Oh, that's bonus. Oh my god. <laughs> the bullets are so fast. And oh my god. And the thing that comes on the ground, it looks like a shadow. But it's actually <laughs> a shot. It's kind of rough, actually. <laughs> so hard. I'd be really interested in ranking the top 10 and you rating the top 10 since you are the players. Yeah. I have been keeping track of my favorite games. Of all time? Of since They're all, time. all the playthrough. Yeah. Uh, I haven't done all of them. Yeah. Dar Darcy, Darcy has done here. a few. I ran into the... Oh my god, it's hard. It's so hard. Very hard. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Um, but we'll have to do that after the fact. Yeah. Because the papers are all in a massive stack. This is novice level. I know. And the things are like... We're obviously missing... I don't know if we're missing anything. You have to avoid everything. <laughs> Try changing your altitude. Uh, when it fires. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Oh, that'll help. Maybe. Ran into the spire. But like Zaxxon, it's a little hard to judge altitude. Without... Oh. And like you think you're going through it. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's pretty rough. This is a rough game. <laughs> I think I have to go way past it, like over to the left here to avoid it. Oh, it tracks up and down anyway. That guy? He went down when I went down. Yeah. He's coming for it. Oh. I didn't even realize I was playing. Oh, yeah, it's your turn. I died. What? What killed that guy? I didn't shoot him. Those are yellow things look like what hairdressers use to mix colors. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> are they the pyramids? Or those long things? Oh, uh, they squish and put in your hair? Like the, the, <laughs> the, the, the bottles? Are you playing again? Do I just keep dying because you're not telling me when it's my turn? You're not paying attention. Well, I'm reading the turn. chat. Oh, I'll tell you when I die, which is constantly. That's no, just continuous <laughs> death. Yeah. Oh, doing a bit better. I'm not very impressed with this game, I just want to it's, say. It's just hard to tell what's going on. I, it's just, but and even the sprites are pretty, like, they're just blobs. Mm. Oh, look, the blob's coming after you. <laughs> what blob are we dealing with today? <laughs> The, the red blob. The red blob. That looks like a flying fish. I don't really... Yeah, it is monochrome. It's 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 not very impressive. It's single color blobs. Yeah. It's so hard to shoot and avoid. It's <laughs> Sometimes the chat is more interesting than the game. Can't blame Tanya. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> I died. Ugh. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, enough with this one. Yeah, I'm, uh, the premise is is, is good, but uh, <laughs> it's brutal. It's I don't know what it's supposed to be. <clears throat> Hi, black cat. Aw, come here, fluffies. Next one's real sports boxing. Uh -oh. It's making a noise. Oh, these are so hard. Take it. <laughs> Everything's falling off now. I think I'm giving up on this one. Oh, oh, it's just too hard to move in and out. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Real sports boxing. I'm not moving. Put up by Atari. Do you have player one? Thank you. Uh, by Alex DeMio, also called Superbox 26135 CX. Superbox! January 1987. So let's play two player. Oh, it's not moving. Okay. You pick, and I will pick Jab and Jack, I guess. I'm on the right, Tenny's on the left. So how there does this is, work? Uh, you press up in the button for punching high, down in the button for punching low, forward, and the button for punching middle. It's a boxing. It's press the button a lot kind of game. And back in the button for defending. Yeah. Very good graphics. Not much gameplay going on. Pretty much like jab, jab, jab. Take a rest. Nice bell. Yeah. New, good uh, graphics for the guys at the bottom. Like the audience. Oh my god. If those yellow things That's are, my injury? Might be injury, might be tiredness. Oh, 
about that. Because you're kicking my ass. Am I? Oh! Oh my god. Get up. Knock out. out. <laughs> oh my god. Rock'em, sock'em robots, except nobody's ahead. <laughs> Just made a franchise 40 years too late. Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, well, play again. Round two? I don't know. So, see, your meter's going up. Yeah. And nothing's happened. Like, we haven't punched it all. So. I would think that'd be like tiredness or something, but. The numbers are definitely if you land a hit. Yes. Anybody know what the meters are for? Because Tanya's is flashing. Yeah, and yours hasn't even gone off. Yeah, you can guard by pressing back in the button. Yeah, mine has never gone off. Take a rest. I don't know what that is. I would totally play a Rock'em Sock'em video game. Yeah, that'd be great. I like the little bell, which... Yeah, rings and moves. It's great. Look, yours is totally at the top. But you can still move. Are you defending much? A little bit, but it went up without me even defending, though. Because I've been defending a fair amount, but I don't know if that... I don't know what that, that is. Oh my god. I flatten you again? Yep. Wow. <laughs> so that must be power meter because you got it Maybe? twice. Yeah, it's weird, eh? Pretty cool. Oh, 17 seconds. All right. It's uh, good graphics. That is pretty fun. Um, probably if we knew, like... Strength the over strategy. the other player. Oh, hmm. but how did Tanya get it without even touching me? I don't at know. The beginning I was, of the I was round? doing a lot of blocking. Do you think that builds it up? Could be, oh. yeah. Next one's title match pro wrestling, which I have the card hmm. for as well. This one's a little, I think, a little bit rare. Let's see. By Absolute Entertainment which was Activision. Or same people. There we go. Oh, very similar. Graphics and detail are impressive, but I wonder if there's more to it than button mashing. I'm it's sure there's be. technique. Especially with the power. Okay. What is this? Wrestling. And there's going to be a lot more moves now. So moves down, we don't know. Down in the button is kick. Up in the button is punch. Forward the button is punch. There's going to be grapples. I don't even know who I am. <laughs> you are not the masked person. You're the five o'clock oh. shadow <laughs> person. Oh, you're destroying me. I don't even know what I'm doing. Slam! This is pretty cool. I'm sure there's lots of moves. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. Through you. Oh. 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 You caught me in a hold. You can't oh, do anything going? while you're in a hold, though. I can't. Oh. Oh. Slam. Nice. Slam. <laughs> How are you doing Slam. that? Slam. Okay, I pick you up, then yeah. I press up, and then I press down. Ah. Oh. Try it on me. Finish him! It's by Absolute Entertainment, uh, Alex DeMio. Actually, it's the same person that did Real Sports Boxing. I really? Said, and I said, this looks the same. Very similar. Uh, AG4104. Try some moves on me. October 1987. Try some moves on me. I'm reading things. Oh, it's two different people now. I don't I don't know how you pinned. How did you pin? Oh, I didn't. How, how did you do that? Well, you do it because you're, you're, you're figuring out the moves. That's a slam. Up. Uh, you press up and then down. You have to grab them. How do you grab them? Grab them from behind? You just press the button. Go up to them and press the button. So go up to me and press up on the button, then down on the button. Oh. And then down on the button. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I'm holding the button, which is why nothing's happening. Oh, okay. it's tag team. Hence the name. Tag that's why. Team. That's why uh, so you can tag out somehow. Ah. No. Put me down. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I couldn't even get up. Up. Oh, there we go. Get up. Get up. Oh my god, I'm like no energy. I like the spinning move too, that was pretty cool. Let me try and get up. Okay, it's moving the joystick. Tag out. Oh, oh full I of see. energy. This is really cute. It is. Toasty. <laughs> I think the, the spinning is left and right. Oh, so you grab them. And then left and right. Uh. Up is to pick them up, and down is to slam. Left and right is to throw them. No, that's not left and right. Or do we have to hit the button, and then left There's and right? There's always a button. Oh. Oh, I don't quite get that, but anyway. I can pick you up, <laughs> but then how do I make you go side to side? Hold down the button left. Oh, hand. there. there nice. <laughs> That's so cute. That is too much I'm fun. I'm figure out some other. Okay, let me slam you on the ground. Okay. Now I'm going to get up on that. <gasps> yeah, oh. There we go. <laughs> up on the chair. This is just too much fun. I think I missed, though. Is yeah, that... you slammed yourself down. Get up. Ah, go me. Oh, we're both out of energy. <laughs> both at zero. Gotta tag off. There we go. Now we got some energy. <laughs> You really want to go me. Oh, I was trying to get up on the side. How do you get up? Uh, you can only get up on the... T oh. Yeah, try it. Oh, you're on the rope. Can oh, you I jump? am. There we go. Oh, nah. there we go. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Slam, 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 slam. <laughs> that is too much fun. That's a cute game. That is cute. At this time, the Atari was only around 50 bucks, right? <laughs> That's right. Only 50 bucks? Yeah, it was $49.99. Mm. Uh, I have a timeline, actually. I'll read it out when there's a single-player game. Mm. Next one is a an awesome conversion. Uh, done by Dan Kitchen, actually. Nice. Uh, Kung Fu Master from Activision. I have a cartridge for this as well. It. So what is this again? Kung Fu Master. Oh. Oh, very quiet sound. So There's... kick and punch as guys come up to you. Oh! Can I duck? Yes, I can. <clears throat> um, so Kung Fu Master by oh. Activision by Dan Kitchen and Gary Kitchen, AG 03904, October 87. Really, really good conversion of it. No flicker. Um, and they've got like. Oh, oh my god, the timing for the jumps and everything <laughs> is terrible. So the timeline. Um, so 1972, Atari Inc. founded by Nolan Bushnell and Ted Dabney. 1976 was sold to Warner Communications. 1977, the Atari VCS was released on September 11th. Today, 45 years ago. 1984, post-crash home console computer sold to Jack Trammell, renamed to Atari Corporation in 1984. 1985, uh, company is renamed to Atari Holdings. Atari Games what, was what sold to Namco. On? Have to go left and right to break out. He's he's giving you a big hug. Oh. Sorry. I'm assuming you played this before, but obviously. Never no. played this before. <laughs> I played the hell out of this. In my Did you? 64. Oh, you need to play this. Then. Okay, you read out the so timeline. So what am I saying? 
Eighty-five. Uh, five. Ah. 1985. Company renamed to Atari Holdings. Arcade games sold to Namco. 1992. Atari Holdings merged into Time Warner. Atari 2600 stopped being made and sold. 1998. Hasbro acquired Atari Core properties. 2001. Atari Core acquired by Info. Infograms? Yeah, Infograms. What a terrible name. And rebranded as Atari SA, who now reissues old games and speaker hats. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you put in there? Yes. And speaker hats? Speaker hats is they're mostly their uh, their uh, company, what they do. What are speaker hats? It's exactly what it sounds like. What? Oh my god. Hats with speakers in them. It's the stupidest thing ever. Speaker hats. 19, I thought, I'm like, is that a thing? Like, what is that? 1977, Heavy Sixers Atari VCS released on September 11th. 1978, Light Sixers. 1984, Switches. 1982, Four Switch Non Wood Grain. Slow down. Slow down. Me? Yeah, because it just sounds like a bunch of numbers all together. Well, I don't, I don't, you just had this at the Well, end you just say in 1984. Oh. In 1986, the Atari 2600 Jr. came out. The fun is back. Forty nine ninety nine under fifty bucks. And then ninety two it was discontinued. Yeah, what Atari makes now is NFTs, NFTs. speaker hats, really proposed uh, hotels, really. Oh, made it to the boss with like zero, zero power left. Damn it. Um. Someone should hack this into Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda, yeah, that's perfect. 20 seconds left. Ah, oh, uh, I did not do that. Uh, Atari says no. <laughs> Atari says you did do that. Hi, oh, Nick, so you're a good gray cat. I'm sorry you have to put up with such an annoying little black kitten sometimes. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even make the first level. Terrible. I have a cat, sorry. He demanded my attention. Next one is Summer Games. Summer Games! By Epics. Getting cat love right over here. Hi. Uh, Do you like Kung Fu games? <laughs> He's like, I prefer bells and treat time. Get it going. Canada! Woot! Done. <clears throat> Canada Hurdle. Okay. I played a lot of this on my C64. I do not know how to play this game. It's the same left, right button. Especially yeah. the hurdle. The left, right, and button. Not yet. Wait till the belt. Wait till the gun. Oh, maybe not. There you go. Um. <clears throat> Is that me at the top? Oh, yeah. good lord. This uh, is not good. This mate. is not good at all. I think it's pattern. Rhythm. Rhythm. What? How does this even work? Yeah, Summer Games is more rhythm than speed. What is going on? I like how he's on? tapping his feet. Oh, it's just forward. Oh, no. You lied. I don't know. It's different. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Made by Stephen A. Baker, Todd Fry, uh, Peter Engelbright for Epics, October 87, oh 80561 Oh my God, James. <laughs> Terrence and Philip. Yes. Is. Oh my God, I go over one. Wasn't Atari merged with JTS terrible. before Hasbro brought it, bought it? Oh my God, this Atari is Atari of today is more of a brand than a developer. Is this supposed to be with the buttons? No, there you go. Oh my God. You got one, don't slow down. It, you can't. How are you not supposed to slow down when you hit up? Oh, it's up. Uh, angle? Hey, you did it. Oh my god, that was terrible. Looks like Canada lost this one. <laughs> oh, no kidding. Oh, Canada. Do you get an... Nope, no extra... Oh, good luck. It's, a, it's always a problem when you don't know what the controls are. <laughs> yep. It's pretty astounding that they included so many uh, events in a cartridge for the 2600. What is this? Might be a circle... 
You, oh, you have to match his hands, I think. Flapping heads though. No. Oh, thrust is keeping track. I think it's direction and the button. Try direction. No, direction is nothing. Holding the button. Oh, you're a little bit faster there. Not holding, but there you go. Don't slam it. Don't slam it. Doesn't. I'm not slamming it. It was a cool spray for jumping in the water. I swear it's like hold, hold, hold. Oh, there. Like yeah. 53 okay. seconds. Go Canada. How come there's no nobody competing against you? It's definitely enough room for two Because we sprites. only picked one person. Ski shooting. You only picked one. No, another country. No, Just you like only the picked one country at the beginning. No, the hurdles had two people r running in it. No, but I mean, I think they you can pick room. multiple countries at the beginning, right? Yeah. But Hurdles had two people on the screen. Well, it's probably just the game. Yeah, they had, they had room for a second one. <clears throat> what am I doing? Try the button? Well, no, but what am I doing? Shooting skeets. Yay! Ah! This one's oh, a little bit God, more straightforward. Yay! Way better than the Apollo game. <laughs> the skeet shooting one that we played before, that was terrible. Yeah, this skeet is really good. Because it's, like, makes sense and it's straightforward. Stop biting me, please. <laughs> Almost. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. <clears throat> Last one. Ugh. Hard. Do, 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 do. Poor, Poor skeets. skeets. Poor skeets are endangered. Stop shooting those skeets. I do like the the dash. So how am I doing this again? I'm running? Too late. Well done. <laughs> it's like playing a game where you don't know what the controls are. Each each game has a different control. No. Next one's winter games. Winter games. Woo! Ice hockey. No. Not that one. That's too much. That's too big of a game. Oh, that's great. It's all the other ones. Like, <laughs> like luge. Oh, luge. Well, that makes made some good. Watch out for the cat hands. Good cartridges. It worked right away. Canada. Slalom. Slalom. <clears throat> Hopefully this won't be so bad. Okay, my turn. Okay, there you go. This is made by the exact same people. Be right back. Memorize the patterns. <laughs> and put out the exact same time and it ends in 251 instead. Oh! Get through it. Oh my god. Did I get that one? Does it make any noise when you go through it? Oh, it did. No, it doesn't. Oh my god, I'm going way too fast. What the hell? Got a pizza. Pizza those skis. No! There we go. It's a decent, uh... No! Oh my god. It only makes noise when you, like, go too fast around a corner. It doesn't make any noise when you go through, go through or miss. Oh, when you hit a flag, that's when it's making noise. Come on. No! Yay, I made it to the end. Lots of penalties. <laughs> Look at all those penalties. Go Canada. Oh, good tip, Carl. Try to go between the flags. Oh, that's right. Sled. Oh, in the... <clears throat> in the uh, C64 version, this had a forward view as well. This one's a top-down. There's really good curves on this. Wow. Graphics are really good. That is really smooth. Imagine a racing game with the track that looks as good as this. Oh my god. Oh, nice. That Luge? is gorgeous. Cute. But they wouldn't be able to include any other cars because it's using a lot of... Uh, well, no, it's got trees on both sides. That with is the so curves. cute. They could definitely make a good racing game on the 2600 top-down with curves this this well, this good. It's kind of like an angry sled. 
Oh, it's angry already. I think I did Good job. okay on yeah, that, that one. Yeah, that seemed decent. Ski jump. Oh. oh. Get ready for some broken bones. <laughs> I think you it's just, just basically... Off? Oh, God. Fault. What the hell does that from there? I think I have to pull back. Nope. Oh. Right at the end, probably. Pull up. up. Pull up. Up. Oh, 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 no. Okay, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Biathlon. What was this one? Left, right. Left, right, left, right. No, up, down. Oh, it's a circle. Kind of? When's the it's shooting? A circle? Oh. Up, button. Oh, I have to reload. That's right. Three out of five. So you're circling? Yeah, circle. To Go move. back and throw it forth. It's kind Are you of sure? Circle. You don't control it then, you're just circling. Yeah, just circling. It's down and up to reload. Down, up, shoot. Down, up, shoot is what Mike my, my yep. Tao says. I figured it out worse than last time. <laughs> oh, you have to do this a very consistent. Slow it is a and rhythm faster. game. Faster. There you go. problem is your heart is going so fast that the thing is going fast. That's why it's going fast. Okay. Neat. Skating. Oh god. Oh, okay. Speed skating. I <clears throat> thought it was actual skating. This is rhythm. Side, 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 side. But not just fast. You have to do it at a rhythm. Which The Epix games were not like speed, like track and field. Yeah. They were... You have to do it at a certain rhythm. Okay. Neat. Hooray! I Good tied job. exactly. You tied. Okay. <clears throat> Great graphics and uh, on some of them. This one's a bit chunky. Um, Canada lost three brave ski jumpers. <laughs> We all mourn on this day. <laughs> the ski jumpers who lost their lives during the Epics Winter Games. They had no training whatsoever. <laughs> it's not surprising that oh. they lost their lives. Okay, skateboarding. I have no clue. If somebody could type in what you're supposed to do in skateboarding. Skateboarding? Skateboarding. Oh, wow. There. So press the button to jump on your skateboard, and you roam around, not running into things. And there's some jumps, but there's no points. Oh, 29. Okay, you have to do stunts on things. I just figured that out. So that's the end. You can't go into that. No. No. And there was a thing below on the left. Let's go to the left. And you have to jump over that. Oh, no. Not quite. Turn around and do it again. No, nope. didn't get points. Well, maybe go back to the ramp and do it again. See if it gets down another point. Nope. No, that's just a big barrier. Really? You have to do tricks. Yeah. Oh, there's another ramp. Meryl so go to Pale the ramps and try to do tricks. Hey, Elnifer! You missed about 10 games. Oh, oh missed the ramp. Right. Oh, 28. Yeah, you just have to do tricks. And I guess that's a trick. It's good enough for just a trick. one? Yeah, you don't get two. You have oh. to do each one individually. Okay. So that's not a rail or anything, no. It might be. Try jumping over it like that way. Oh, maybe. Like vertically instead of horizontally. So this is put out by Absolute Entertainment, uh, made by David Crane. No, nope. like vertically. Hmm. 
you know what I mean? Yep. Okay. I have to get over there, though. I can't get past it. No, like I can't the, get around like, the, like, like this up. way? Yeah. Oh, you can't jump? No. You're going up? Okay. No. Uh, January 1988. We're into 1988. Uh, AG04202. Can you duck? I don't think so. I think you can only jump. Oh, like maybe. This. Oh, maybe. Okay. Try up, no. down, left, right. You can go on the grass, actually. With the button? Shockingly. No. Uh, no, no, you can't duck. Jump. You go down. You go down. Yeah, the... The button just jumps. That's the only thing that does I anything. Yeah. I feel like you should be able to do something on those. <laughs> yeah. I really like this game. It paved the way for Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Is this the first skateboarding game? I mean, I don't think so, because there, there would have been other skateboarding games. No, you can't jump over those. It's not the oh. first skateboarding game. It's called Skateboarding A Radical Adventure. California, yeah, that's what I thought. California Games had a skateboarding part. Of course, we haven't made it to California Games. That comes in June. This is January. So is there an earlier one than this one? Probably on a computer system. Definitely the first uh, on the 2600. Is there like another trick you can do on the ramp, maybe? Because I think you found all the ramps. I know. Oh, there's some stairs. Can That's you where I came out of. Nope. <laughs> Just slam into it. You can it. go up here, though. I didn't realize you could go up here. Do you have to jump over the pipe while your board passes oh, through Oh, there's it? way more up here. Oh, okay. Ah. Just have to find a way to get up there. What are you doing? I'm what? trying to go straight. Go, st go straight. Can't you just let it? Go? No, no, because it goes weird angles. Well, go. Just, just stop, stop touching the joystick. Stop going on. No, because turning around, you go around in a circle. See? I don't want to be down there. I want to be here. Oh my god. There we go. Go over the ramp. No. Oh my god. I want to oh, go that over that ramp. ramp. Oh, it's like, what are you trying to do? No, go. Oh my god! It's like impossible. He doesn't go in a straight line. Oh, I know the bell rang. I want Tiny to succeed. There, there. we go. Here you go. Just gonna do it. Get it down to 26. Finally. 26! I think you just have to explore the whole land. Yeah, right? I think you're right. There's just little, you just have to find the, the ways up. Next one Sprint Master. I'll reset the time. Cool. I like that game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess you just find all the ramps. Yeah. And that's it. There might be other ways. I mean, again. Yeah. Spritmaster in January 88, Atari, uh, by Bob Polero. Um, Two? Let's do one player. I don't know what bounce or crash is. So. Bounce it is. Um, Four. Sure. Oh, it's, oh, it's just this. We'll play two player. We will play two player. Let's do bounce. Uh, low, re low, two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, pick your track. That's a good one. Uh, blacktop or dirt, ice. Ooh, ice. Ice? Yeah. Okay, I don't know which I am. We'll find out. Oh, I'm blue. Up. Oh, button to accelerate. Oh, traction. So there's bonuses. You go under. Very nice. Is that one for you, or is it something different? Oh, speed. that's not fair. I thought oh, they were by the speed. color. That's way too much speed. I like doubled my speed. There's no traction. Slamming into walls. Imagine if we had to crash instead of bounce. Winner. Move two laps. That was quick. <laughs> that is quick. The option, the start menu is good. Oh, well, you got to finish too. I'm getting there. 
Yay! Okay. Cute. Let's do a crash. different track. Two players. You want to try crash? crash? No. no. We will just die. Two two lap. Three laps is fine. Three yeah. is better. Let's try a different track. Figure eight. That one looks complicated. Yeah. Do that. One. Not ice. Black top. Sure. Oh, it opens and closes something. Oh, it does. It's a shortcut that sometimes is open, sometimes is closed. Can you get trapped in it? Oh, you can get trapped in it. Oh, no. Really good graphics. Um, steering's a bit crazy. The steering is really hard. Really hard. Oh, my God. Forget that. <laughs> Stop it. Hey! Hey, you! Hey, what did I crash into there? Nothing! Oh, I can't even see... Where's my car? Which way to... <laughs> you're I'm trapped! You're slamming against the, uh, the side of the wall where you can't even see yourself. That's crazy. Oh, look at this. Isn't that great? Thrust made a driving controller hack for look, this one. Look, I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. You're in the grass. Oh my god. I got stuck in the grass. I can't get off. Because it kept crashing. That's a bug. That is a bug. <laughs> okay, try one more track. Reminds me of Death Rally. I, I didn't know. Oh, it's replaying. Oh, you made a driving controller hack. Oh. It's replaying. Oh, that's it. I, I don't know why. I, I thought it would go back I think to the beginning. Reset. Oh, you do? Yeah, manually. Traction, please. Oh, that helps much. Yeah, driving controller would be much more oh, yeah. easy because it's spinning. This way you have to press left or right. And I'm stuck to, again. I, think. I can't see which direction I'm facing. That's unfortunate. Where am I? I'm completely gone. You're in the tunnel, hitting the wall. Just keep trying to turn. There you are. You're at the end of the tunnel. Now you're blocking the tunnel. I, I can't even... There we go. Jesus. Oh, I'm backwards. Yeah, the tunnels are not easy to navigate. Well. Should make like make you into a dot or something. That'd be good. If you're in the tunnel. A whole one ahead of me. Quick, report that bug to them. Does anybody have <laughs> the address for oh Atari? Actually it's Atari, so. You think they'll respawn? Yay! You think they'll reissue this one? <laughs> for a hundred dollars? Yeah. <laughs> That's what they're selling them for. A hundred dollars. It's crazy. Back is anybody then? is anybody listening buying or watching buying these games for a hundred dollars? They're, they're just reissuing these oh, games. Oh, the reissues. Straight up. Including this one? Not this one. They're not reissuing this one. <laughs> uh, Maybe they will. <laughs> Maybe. Could be. It's not a terrible you game. Never know. Uh next one's Super Football. Hooray, football. A Oops. game I not only cannot play, that I don't even know the uh, Super Football, Super Challenge Football, also known as, that we will not know how to play, Ugh. but not even know how to play football. Why is... this isn't it. This, this super is Super Challenge? Yeah, we played this already. Did they... Maybe you mean Super ba Baseball. Did they reissue this? We played this, haven't we? We did. This is ancient. Okay. Um, maybe it's a different... Maybe Super Baseball? Because you have Super Baseball up there, I too. do. I think that's old, too. Wrong one. Uh, here. 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 No, no, no. No. Super Challenge Baseball no. Football. No. No. This is my full... There. This is Super Football. Gotcha. There we go. Oh, that's pretty. 1988, that's a bit better. Okay, so uh, Super Football, January 88 by Atari, Doug Neuenbauer. CX, press button, 26154. Oh, tiny guys. Hopefully this is arcade-like. <laughs> oh, look, he goes in the distance. Oh, okay. Um, this is the demo, no okay. one's playing. <laughs> <laughs> Now I think people are playing. Now like, we're not going to know how to play it. No. 
It looks arcadey though. Oh, look at that curve on the ball. I don't even know what's going on here. Maybe we're not playing. Five versus five, yeah. Okay, don't touch. <laughs> How do you even start a game? No. Are you playing? Yeah, I believe oh, okay. so. Okay, good. Oh, I'm in the very distance. <gasps> Look at that scrolling. That's pretty good. Look at it. The whole, the whole, well, nothing moves, but the lines move. <laughs> So Tanya is red, slash purple, and I am green, slash blue. Yeah. It is very pretty arcadey. That's good. It's nice. We can actually show something going on. Yeah, the kickoff, kickoff was definitely on. Oh. oh, into the crowd. Somebody got to take a football home. In football games, do they make you give back the football? I know in soccer games they do. You can't keep the soccer game. Soccer. Right? What? what? Sorry? Make you give back the football? If the foot... I said it, it got kicked into the crowd. Yeah. Do they make you give back footballs in football games? No in baseball games, they don't. Because they've got a million balls. But I'm pretty sure in football games and soccer games... Oh, too... Oh, no. They make you give it back. Because they don't have 20 footballs. I have no idea. First down. Ugh. Once you kick it, do you get to control the guy you're kicking Yes, to? once... I, but I'm, I'm not quite sure... Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you dictate the play as with the controls. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, intercepted! I... Oh, no! Nice, everybody's cheering. Now we've reversed. Don't quite figure... In... I haven't quite figured it out, but it, it is working. In pro, yes. In ind indoor football, you keep it? Really? Oh, wow! Cool. Probably just never gets... Uh, kicked into the crowd very much. <laughs> they're, they're pretty precise with it, because you... With baseball, I think it's just a bit more chaotic, right? Seems pretty simplistic. I, I, I'm sure there's more to it. It'd be rare to make it into the crowd in pro football. Yeah. yeah. I don't ever. I don't watch football, but I've never seen like it go it into the crowd. It just go crazy, yeah. And the only time it could go into the crowd is when, when they're kicking it through the field goal, and there's a huge net. Nobody's getting No, that. I don't think it would end up in the crowd. It'd have to end up on the sides. Yeah. Anyway, I don't watch enough football. <laughs> uh, great graphics, and I love the perspective on this one. Because uh, you can show it much bigger field. Yeah. Next one's crossbow. Not that crossbow. Not that crossbow. This crossbow. <laughs> Go for it. Okay, so you move the dot to uh, red or green, and that dictates what scene you're going to. Uh, this is made by Dan Kitchen uh, for Atari. CX26139. Okay, shoot everything that's going to hurt your dude. First, shoot that little blob by the lava. Oh, God. Um, so this is a really ambitious game to put on a 2600. Yep, shoot that guy. He's safe. Keep it near the dude, because there's going to be lava coming down on him. And you got to get your... Oh, God, that's really hard. ...guys across the screen safely. So you don't control the guys. What is this? Oh, it must be level select. Go to for one. Desert. This one's a little bit easier. Oh! Oh, my God! <laughs> Oh, get that ant. It's coming for you. Now remember, get flying things. Get that bat up there. Oh, that eye's gonna shoot electricity. Oh, oh my god! He wasn't even near me! Thrust says, do not like this one. Oh. Was this... Okay. 
was this gun? I think this was gun controlled in the arcade. Oh, that makes more sense. I think. I can see that. Pow, 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 pow. Yeah. So they had to make it. What? Why is it on hard mode? I can't see my shot. One. Do you want level one? There we go. It was on zero before. Oh my god. No, you hit the color. I'm gonna go for green. That seems like a possibility to get across. But yeah. The lava one is too hard. No. No for you. No, no. No, 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 no. Oh, from behind. Oh, no! Well, he's got you already. Oh. See? Damn They're it. not even in line with you when they ki they get you. Oh, they bite your toes. Yeah. So, so that you really have to clear everything within any kind of distance. Yeah. Distance, yeah. Oh, come on. I have to clear it like within one second? So I have to keep doing that? Nice. Oh my god. Whew. Yeah, I got a bonus guy. Okay, green or red? Oh, I don't like the red. Let's go green again. Caves. I think things fall, like stalactites are gonna Maybe, follow me. Yeah. Yep. Oh boy, that's gonna be tough. Keep it right near my Oh come on. Nope, nope. Nope, nope. No! Get a bit of time. You got the crack in the in the in the oh. ground. Oh my god, but I'm bombarded. I can't get down there. What the hell? Oh. How do I clear I it? Know. I can't go down that low. Kill Maybe the thing to... at the top? Oh! It fills it in. Ah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> it's just bombarded. Yeah, this needs oh. a gun. Yeah. Oh, maybe that setting is for a gun. That's what it's for, maybe. Oh, I don't know. They did have a light gun for the 2600. Yeah, that is makes this... a lot of sense. Does this work with the light gun? Because that other option seems to like just flash on the screen. I don't know. Anybody know? It's not a. It's very ambitious uh, port. Gun would definitely make this a more fun game. Oh yeah. It's awkward to ship the joystick around. Watch just, out, the guys from behind. I don't think that's gonna make it. All right, got one guy across. Gotta get two across. Um. Well, you build up people. Um as the game progresses, like you get an extra person every level. Um, so you have to get more people across. It makes the game shorter if you keep it down to one person, but then you only have one life. It's right <gasps> now. Oh, good God. Oh my God. Yay. Yes, it should work with the light gun. Do you have a 2600 light gun? Uh, no. Yes, oh, do I we? do. I have an XE oh. light gun. I don't know See, Atari the XE light gun work? It won't work on this TV, though. No. So, we're going to do a light gun day. Mm. So, don't worry. We'll play all these light gun games again. Um, so, we can play this. Oh, next one's Commando. Which is a game I played on. Russ says you can try with Stella. Oh, yeah. That's right. But we won't do that today. Like this a lot. Commando? On my C64. It's great sound. On the C64. On this, not bad for the 2600 actually. The music, I mean, not sound. Yeah. Ah. So you do have grenades, you have to hold down the button for a grenade. You can just progress, just ignore them. Oh, really? Yeah, you don't have to shoot <laughs> And there are pickups as the time, as it goes along. My CRT is an HD, so I can't play light gun games. Yeah, what we're gonna do is hook up um, a CRT. Um, we're gonna play the Vectrex on one day. And then all the light guns the next day, so I can keep the same setup. Oh. Set. And so we'll have a CRT double header, uh, two days. And 
And for the light gun, we're going to play all the light gun games on the uh, 2600, 7800, um, I guess, I don't think there's any 5400 ones, um, and 8-bit. Uh, Homebrews. Maybe not 8-bit. I don't know. We'll see. At least 7800 and 2600. There's probably a, a lot more light guns on the 8-bit. Um, 2600, 7800 light gun is kind of miserable. The most fun way I've seen to play it on Stella with on a Wii uh, with a Wii mode. Oh, that's interesting. We are playing a light gun game today. There is one official light gun game. I don't know if that last one was... Uh, Die! We can just go into the... How do you how do you use the grenade? Uh, hold it down for a little bit. For a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Kind of awkward, but... Okay. Oh my god! It's just dodging. <laughs> you can't really kill them. I seem to hit them multiple times. Oh, I'm dead again. It's challenging. I think it's a lot more challenging on the 2600. Actually. Well, I, I don't think it's that hard. I think you just have to get used to it. I think I'm hitting their shot. Because it's... I'm, like, hitting them multiple times and they're not dying. It's very good graphics and good sound on this. Like, the, the, the characters, the enemies, and the people are really good. Maybe I'm pulling my shot. And they're using uh, negative space really well on the enemies and your player. Like the graphics on it. Yeah, the graphics are really good. The palm trees. So I'm, use a oh, I'm trying to use a grenade to show the grenade, but every time I do, you shoot first, right? What happened there? You were shot. I was? Yeah, from below. Oh. I have to get in between their shots. Yeah. Well, you have to time it, because if you shoot their shot, you don't shoot them. Yeah. It's really cool. I mean, the um, movement of the... It's very smooth. Yep, the animation of yeah. you and them is really, really good. I don't think I read anything about this. Oh. Where is it? Commando. Commando. June 1st, 1988, Activision by Mike Riddell. Just June 1988. Anything with a one is not real. Everything has a one. Yeah, it's all it's all um, unknown dates now. Yeah. It was only for a little period of time that um, when they were advertised in the newspaper. These oh, games, where you actually had a date of release. Yeah. It's, it just yeah. People were more anticipatory during like the early early 80s. days. And then it's just like uh, whatever. Oh, After so many on the screen. Yeah. They're all in different uh, horizontal planes. That's how you can get so many. I'm gonna finish level one. Oh, I have to shoot above a bunch of guys first. It's even got a nice shine on the helmet. Yeah. Of the enemies. Oh my god. That guy appeared very It's definitely a game of dodging. Yep. Oh, made it. Yeah, I blew up the house! Did you play a homebrew like this with Darcy? We might have played Commando on a different system? Yeah. I don't know, we played thousands of games. <laughs> it's hard to know. Next one, Super Baseball by Atari. I seem to remember playing Commando on some system, maybe? Commodore 64? No, we definitely did not play it on the Commodore 64. We've only played Homebrew on the C64. Well, actually, we only played C64 once with you. And that was just, uh, it's the only time we played C64 on the show, I think. Nope, this is baseball. I picked the wrong one. And I've got a black cat in my lap. It, Turn it off and on. It is baseball. Nope, it's the wrong one. Oh, super baseball. I picked the wrong ones. Can you turn it off and on? So go to 1977 to 1992. Yep. So super baseball. Yeah. Doo, doo, doo. Uh, super Baseball, June 88, by Atari, by Mimi Naiden and Joseph Tung. Uh, CX 26152. Oh, did 
There we is no super it. baseball. Nope. Uh up, 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 kitties. Oh, oh, up. Oh. Okay. Normally I'd be like, ah, eh, whatever, but we have to play all the games. So I'm gonna look for that. Okay. And load it onto this. Oh, cat's in the way. Yeah, I know you've got a black cat. from the super mega huge <laughs> archive archive file that I have of every variation of every single game. Let me load that up. The, uh, One moment, please. One Rom moment. Please stand by, Rom as Yorgi's Castle says. ROM Hunter Collector Archive. If anybody wants to have every single crazy game. Oh! Who's that? An anonymous gifter gave Arena Foot a tier one sub. Oh, very nice. Thank you so much, anonymous person. There we go, baseball. Base one lost it. Playing with a sharp black cat over here. Oh, sharp black cat. He's so sharp. He's get vicious. out of there, you're gonna get you're gonna get squished. Oh yeah. He's got a bit you're of time. You're gonna get squished. He's got a tiny bit of time. Well we find Super Baseball. I got it. Because there's two games called Super Baseball. Well there is what was it? Super Super Challenge Baseball. Challenge Baseball. That's the difference. Okay, so go to that. It's probably the Here? last file now. Yeah. Meryl, Baseball. Oh. This is super. This is the same one. You just downloaded Super Challenge Baseball again. Oh, it says 1988. Nope. Mm. Unless this is the Super Challenge Baseball. No, this is the old baseball. Yeah. Another anonymous gifter gave thrust. Thank you, anonymous. Yay, gifter. anonymous gifters. Who is this anonymous person? <laughs> gifting people. Thank you so much. Is it Batman? It's Batman. Oh, that's what we should have called this little black cat. Oh, Batman. Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> Next black cat. Okay, let's try again. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh another gifter. one. Nostalgic 26. Somebody won the lottery. Yes. It says baseball, a.k.a. Super Challenge Baseball 1988 Telegames. But that's not right. Because this is Atari. Hmm. Mm. Mm, there's a mystery here. Okay, I'm gonna look under Super Challenge Baseball then. Oh, no, that's 82. What? Oh, no. Too many. This is the problem. There are too many sports games. That's not it. Ignore that. <laughs> This one's definitely M. No, that's the old There's one. There's no challenge in the name. Yeah, but that's, it's just oh, Super here's Baseball. here's another one. Here it is. I found it. Yay! Super found. Baseball. It is Super Baseball. No challenge. Yep, no challenge at all. There's a bad black oh, cat. What's he doing? He's okay. trying to chew your leg. I can feel him. Okay, we got the right one. I loaded it up, verified Sweet. it on the emulator. We'll restart the timer. It's the last one on the list. Hey, little buddy. You get down. You get down. You're being vicious. He's going to attack his okay. brother. Restart. Don't okay, attack your it. brother. Last one on the list. There we go. That looks more modern. Atari Super Baseball. What happened to the follower count? Did we overflow and roll it back to zero? It says zero followers. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, error, overflow. That's really weird. Just do a play again. It still says 1,130. It says zero. Yeah, I know. Weird. Some troubles, technical troubles. Didn't like. Mm. I will try and fix that while you play. While I figure out how. <laughs> oh, this doesn't look better than any of the older ones. Nope. Okay, that's not how you swing. Okay, I'm going to restart Streamlabs. I think that um, where it gets it from. How do I swing? Maybe your 
you're pitching? Well, I'm doing a very good job if I'm pitching. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, okay, I got it. Got it, finally? Yeah, okay. You hold the button. Refresh cache. Did that do it? Nope. Hmm. Quite a slow procession to the mound, or to the, um... It's trying to emulate how slow baseball is. Wow, this is... Yeah, exactly. Incredible. Run! I don't know how to run! <laughs> He's walking to the to first base. <laughs> Not the prettiest game. Uh, maybe... Uh, I wanted to like this game back in the day desperately. It was painful to play, says Mr. Oh, Zimmerman. no. Was it? So let's restart Mix It Up then. Maybe I should upgrade Mix It Up. Maybe that's one of the problems with it. I'm gonna upgrade it. Try and get that number back. Where are back. these balls? You're pitching, right? Walk him. Oh, there you go. Catch it. Throw to first. Right. Oh. No, not down. Come it's on. always right. Back to the pitcher. There you go. Oh, it's logging in. Let's see if followers gets updated. How is it? How are these balls? Some text on screen now. What text? Oh, no connection to mix it up, yeah. Because I, I, cause I shut it down, that's why. Text gone now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now it's restarted. <coughs> I don't understand how, I throw, how to throw a strike. Refresh the cache. No. Oh my god. Uh, we'll just have to live with zero subs for now. Yeah, it's not zero followers, it's 1,130. Weird that it went to zero all of a sudden. And nobody even followed. Uh, Mr. Zarnawoop says, see, painful. I don't even know. It's just all, everything I throw is a ball. Let's see. Go. <coughs> so you have to pitch first. Yeah, you just pitch. Ball. Weird. Everything I throw is a ball. <coughs> I'm obviously missing something. Oh. So you have to press the button to pitch. <laughs> you just press the button, but everything you throw is a ball. What the hell? Which, obviously, there's something. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Zonaroop, see? Painful. <laughs> Bizarre. I don't know. There's some something to the, the pitching. Yeah. Maybe you have to hit the button as it hits the plate? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to step out for a second. Soundtrack of coffin. I know. Oh, I caught it. It wasn't a ball. Now this is uh, not as advanced at a, as I would think for 1988, especially when you see Pete Rose baseball. Oh my god, that's a whole other level. It should be playing in a second. Yeah, I have no idea how to pitch anything. Oh, it's over. Hooray. Next one up is California Games. It's going to be a lot of games that we won't be able to get to by Epics. I have the cartridge for this. <coughs> Definitely that baseball was worth the wait. Not really. Oh, this one doesn't work. The other Epics worked right off the bat. Unlike... There we go. Starts with a nice demo. Yeah, a lot of sports games. I guess they figured, oh, we're going to reissue all the sports games now that we're more advanced. This is definitely like a demo. Vertically scrolling? Very nice. Um, <clears throat> this is by Epics by Stephen A. Baker and Peter, Peter Engelbright. 80561-00286. June 88. Louie Louie. 
what, uh, well, let's pick Apex. Look at the graphics on this. This is probably one of the best looking characters, um, in the game. And I played a lot of this too, when I was, uh, on the C64. There's different points for different type of, uh, oh, I turn around to, like, the, the graphics and animation, because there's only one character on the screen, they can use two colors per line. There's a shadow, clouds moving. This looks like a much more advanced system than the, than the 2600. Let's see. Maybe I head it, turn around and head it again. Oh, damn it. Oh, enough time. Okay, head it. There we go. Head it. Turn around. Oh. Hacky sack for the win. Oh, oh I hit with my knee. Let's try and get a knee again. There we go. Another knee? Nope. Yeah, like there's a list of tricks that you can do. And there's different points for each type of trick. Ooh, golf? Oh, hacky sack? Yeah. Oh, you can hold California them. Games? That's right. Nice. Ha California games. Oh, right. I'm holding it. Oh, you can only hold it for a second. Oh, no, you only play it for 90 seconds. Nice. Oh, two cats. Hollywood. Uh, here we go. Ooh. I'm gonna die on this one. Oh, I actually did a trick. Oh my god. That'll be the last of it. Oh, nice. Let's get some. Oh, my oh. knees. My knees. Half oh, my high. knees again. A late 80s athletic socks. Yep. What are you doing? There's nothing under there. <laughs> He likes to dig and rummage through things. He's a rummager. How do you get speed? Come on. Get some height. Get Happy some height. guy was two sprites in one. Yep, he was. It was really nice. well done. Oh, I lost all my speed. Oh, my. Oh. Come on. Get some speed. Oh. Very cool. That looks so good. Oh, Ooh, look at that. Oh, nice. There we go. Look at the height. It's up and down. That's what it is. Oh. Nope. Oh, fell. Tried to do a trick there. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, good um, playfield graphics plus other graphics. Ball, ball and playfield. Yeah. Graphics on this. For the edges of the ramp. <laughs> This was a pretty good collection of sports games. It was. Nostalgic. Like, the hacky sack is so impressive. Like, that's probably better graphics than the C64 hacky sack. Yeah. Because the C64 has terrible colors. Oh, no. Terrible colors. Oh, that's it for that one. Might be able to see a couple. Uh, oh, boy. Wipeouts are coming. Oof. Ow. Ow is correct. Oh, at the <gasps> top of the tree. Come on, get some speed. Up. Oh. oh. Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Off the rock. Oh, you have to jump over the rock. Oh. Really good detail graphics on this. <laughs> oh, mud. Stuck in the mud. Oh, that's just the first. Oh, I made it. Very hard. Uh, and we only have five minutes. This one is broken in Stella. Really? So there's still more work to do on uh, a lot of games. Or not a lot of games, some games. Okay, next one is River Raid 2. By Activision. <laughs> Pack rat. Ha, that has to hurt. Oh my god, yeah. Falling 30 feet onto your bike after hitting a tree? I think so. So, River Raid 2. Oh, it's not for a second. Ow. Oh my god, what's happening? Referring to. 
Nostalgic is wondering if the summer winter California games and track and field put each event in a different 4K ROM bank on the cartridge, making them each their own small game. Uh, yeah, I bet they're 32. <coughs> what is happening with this cartridge? Thrust 26. It checks the button twice per frame once, and that's not supported yet. Oh, the button twice per frame. What's wrong with this cartridge? <laughs> is this Pal? Act, it's acting like Pal. Oh, maybe it is. Look at that. Unstable frame. Okay, All we're emulating right. it. That's interesting. Is it because it's a black cartridge? Is this actually PAL? Didn't know if I had any PAL cartridges. There is a very silly black cat here. Oh, you're so silly. He's very vicious. Okay, I'll restart the timer because we had some difficulties. Yep. No one wants to fight you right now. <laughs> no, no, no one wants to fight you. What is this? Thrust fuel River speed. Rate two. So you press forward, and then once you launch, you press back. Press forward? Or press the button to thrust, and uh, and then once it takes off, press pull back. Oh, stop it. There you go. Oh, no, not quite. That didn't work. Something like that. Pull back. There you go. So altitude and speed are inverse. So you have to be a dirt certain height to shoot certain things. Oh god, really? Yeah. Kind of similar to River Kitten. Raid. Can you get rid of this cat? <laughs> he's, no, he's like attacking my arm. No, on the floor. Uh, so River Raid 2 oh, uh, yes. by Dan, Dan Kitchen, friend of the show, and David Lubar. Um, AK Zero. 48-04 Activision, November 88. It's much harder than River Raid. It is hard. This is the final 45th anniversary show. We are playing games up to 1992. Sprite's having a fun time. Look, even annoyed uh, Atari. Helicopters. Oh, it's hard. Oh, it's party time. Cats, 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 cats. <laughs> it's party time for kittens, not for you, unfortunately. Unless you've developed a taste for catnip, who lets you have these. Oh my gosh. It's Yorgi's Castle. Says cats need to get high. I know only one of you is going to enjoy this. But, have some. He's like, ugh. Go to the cat cam. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, my altitude is down. I'm getting very confused. Oh, you're cracked? Oh, it's your turn here. Okay. I'll transition it back when. <laughs> when uh, oh, Yorgie's castle scrolling. just gave some to his cats as well. It's a cat oh, party. Oh, it's a cat party. Did you give some to the black cat? No. I, he went, ugh. I tried to. He was like, no. Thank you, Yorgie's Castle. Thank you so much. Atari definitely <laughs> appreciates it. Yes. Thank Atari's like, yes, this is my thing, not the black cat's thing. Oh, he's sniffing oh. it. One day he will come. Oh, he's sniffing it. Yeah. He doesn't like to not be involved, oh, he's but he naughty. does not seem to like the cat. Oh, he is in a mood. He is. He is in a mood. Altitude takes a little getting used to it. To start all over again? Yep. What? You have to hold up. You have to hold back. You can't let go of it. Yeah, back. Yeah. The only thing I ran out of fuel. That's right. He's having some. Really? He's sniffing it. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh, oh Sprite going hard stuff. He's going. Oh. 
getting into the hard stuff. Some pets wanted the Dean for intoxication catnip. It's true. He's kind of sniffing it and rubbing it right now. Oh, maybe he's getting into it. It calms him down though, though. <laughs> Is it a cat relaxant? Because he's so. a pretty high energy cat. <laughs> he, could use, he could use a bit of a depressant. Yeah, yeah he could. He's rubbing it. He's rubbing really? it. Yeah, he's rubbing his face into that little. Wow. Yeah. I think we're witnessing Sprite history. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, you are. This is the first time I, he's. I don't know if he's eating it very it. much. He's, he's kind of playing with the lid more than anything else. Yeah. And now oh. he's pushing it. How do you get fuel? Hey! Ah, how do you get fuel? Nope. Oh, Good question. Oh, you can fly over land. Is it these things? You have to go way down. Yeah, you'll hit those things if you go down too. There we go. Where's the fuel? It must be those round. Anyway, the time is up for you. Really close. It's a good successor to uh, River It looks and feels the same. Oh, Yorkies has a Maine Coon. Oh, big, how those big is your Those are big floofers. I love those Maine Coons. Okay. Okay. Uh, next one is Pete Rose Baseball. Now you will see a baseball game. Oh, you can barely hear. Game volume is a bit high. We can barely hear you guys over the thrust sounds. It is a loud game, actually. It's yeah, quite loud. Different games are different volumes. Okay. Timer is Pete, invisible. What? Pete Rose Baseball. Oh, oh yeah, because of the uh, other screen. Yeah. Okay. Pete Rose Baseball. You're just being naughty. This we should be able to play two player. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that animation. Of course, by Absolute Entertainment, which was Activision. They have two now. Alex DeMeo, AG04504, December 88. That's down, I think. Two player. Very loud still. There we go. So who is who? I'm the batter. What? Oh, that was easy. Home run. First try. Only it was that easy when you were actually playing baseball. Yeah, it's not. Oh, you're a bad cat. Oh, what is... Oh, he's running. Da -da 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 -da. My only complaint about the Pete Rose Baseball is the 7800 version is almost the same as the 2600. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, did I hit it? It's very cool. Foul? Quick. Oh, I did hit it. Didn't hear it. Oh, oh strike. strike. Oh, 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 just foul. Fouled. Just foul. Oh, baby. I know. It's a naughty cat. Oh, that's in. How do I? I think it, it just knows that it's to the outfield. Oh, what? Did you press down on the button? Hmm. Oh, it shows where the yeah. uh, guy is on the Neat. base. It's Very quite nice. nice looking. Yeah. Really nice. Incredible, Incredible animation. animation. Yeah. Yes, animation is unbelievable. Oh, nice. Into the outfield. It's gonna catch it. Oh! Fly! Woohoo! And out. <coughs> Looks like everybody's right handed. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh no. no! Bouncing! Okay, run to uh, third. Yep. Oh, no, no, no. Go, 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 go. Oh, you threw to, threw to the back. I don't. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Nice. Run. Oh, I guess he doesn't run. Oh. Out. Yeah. <clears throat> Second and third. Come on, hit. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's on the, it's a grounder. That's why there's no shadow. Run home. Nope. Oh, okay. Nobody's running. Or I'm not allowed to run. Nobody ran. 
Oh, really good base drop. is loaded. Come on, home run. Oh, foul. Oh, they're running anyway. What, 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 what is ball. going on? Oh my God. Oh, it's foul. Oh, it's foul, of course. Okay, that's why. Come on, home run. Boom, no, oh, no. It's in the, oh, oh, just made it to the outfield. Uh, gotta run in. Uh, run, run. Oh, no, nobody's moving. Oh, that's how. Oh, you just press right or left for clockwise. Oh, you're clockwise still full. Gotcha. Can you bet on the other <laughs> team? Uh, you can make private wagers. Oh, foul. This is nice. This is definitely... Of all the baseball games... The best baseball This is game. the best. I wish I kind of knew the play a little more, but it is very nice. Oh, go, nice. go, go, go. In it, out of the park. No. No. Oh, yes. Nice. Oh, should I? No. What? You're never going to get... Uh... I just want to home run with the bases loaded. Come on. Oh, I can move all directions, the batter. Oh, oh, to the pitcher? What? No, just How past the pitcher. How do I catch picture. it? Or I guess I can't. I, I think you have to dictate which guy by pressing... Oh, 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 my God. No, we're going back. We're going back. No, we're going to make it. <clears throat> it's really nice. Jason Voorhees is pitching to Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, very, very nice. Really very good nice. baseball game. It looks game. amazing. Uh, good job. It presents Alex different Demand. screens based on how far the ball goes. Yep. Next one's Tomcat, the F-14 flight simulator. I'm pretty sure I have this, but I don't know where the cartridge is. Mm. Um, so let me set that. The cats are asleep now. I thought they were going to get super high, but yes, they did. Okay, load it up. They're just sleepy. Tomcat. Meow. Uh, this is made by Dan Kitchen as well. Dan made so Tomcat? many games in this uh, era. Era. Also called Fighter Pilot. Also called Dan Kitchen's Tomcat F-14 Fighter Simulator. Look at those graphics. Wow. Uh, AK-04604, December 88. The last one of 1988. Good luck playing this. I don't know if it's more of a... Well, it says simulator in it, so... Fueled up. Oh, oh my god. It's ushering you in to start flying. Oh, you're moving the yoke. Up, down, button. No. Oh, no, it's moving. I don't get it. Engine. Engine goes up. There you go. Engine's up. Full speed. Good. Engine, more engine. What am I doing? Anyone? Press up more. Up more. Button and Launch. up more. No, button and up more. Why would I want my go. engine to be at 200%? I don't know. To launch. That doesn't make any sense. There you go. Don't crash. Pull up. Uh, oh, nice. Very nice. Rank. Zero. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> Big old goose egg. I pulled up instead of down. Uh, so you go. Okay, fuel, fuel up. Okay. I just saw the breakdown on the code for Tomcat. Uh, Thrust says F14 is good but complicated. Yeah, it looks like it. You have to put your engines at 200%. 216 to launch. How can something be at 216? There we go. Your launch. Not too high. Or else you'll just go straight up in the air. Oh, up, 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 up. Altitude, 350, 400 feet. That's probably good. 600 feet in the air. Speed is down, down, 0.8 down. Mach. Nothing on the radar. There you go. Try turning left and right. Let's see what it looks like. Very nice. Are there any enemies? Or do they come later? Mach 1.2. Because it did say kills. Is there a radar? It's, it's 
probably the bottom, but it's empty. I mean, it's cool. Pulling five G's, turning. Wow. Four, three, two, one. Very fast. Well, you're do you are going Mach one, point six. So when you turn even the slightest. Can I reduce my engine? Oh, maybe. Can you go down? In the button. There you go. Probably want it at a hundred percent. I would think so. Nothing on the radar yet. A sonic boom would have been cool. That is true. Seven G's is a lot. <laughs> Nothing yet. There might be some other radar things. Oh, oh, there are things. Of course there are. Doesn't like me doing those. Oh. Armaments? Threat? Oh, this is what you want. Wow. There's obviously a lot to this game. Well, when you put simulator in the title... I think we might just get this. <laughs> this might be just it. Shooter or flight sure. sim? Well, it says it kills, so let's try and do some turns. Oh, oh, you can Going see the water. Ha, ha, ha. Watch out. You can't see what your altitude is. You're going to go into oh, the water. True. You're very silly. Let's do a flip in the air. Can we go all the way over? Probably We're won't going let you. to die. Oh, no. It will only let you go, go up so much. Really good. I'm sure there's a lot more to it. We don't know where the enemies mm. are. The graphics are astounding. Good job, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, hey, next one is Universal Chaos. It's hard to do complicated games in five minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, Universal Chaos by Telegames. First game of 1989, January. We don't know who it's made by. It's also <laughs> called Targ. Okay, you shoot all the red things. Okay. And avoid the other things. This does not look like it came out in 89, but it's a fun game otherwise. Um, 7062 A305. Yeah, the rest also said, does not look like 89. Can't turn around. No. You have to loop around and get them. Oh my god. Ooh, they catch up to you. Yeah. Yay! It's Pac-Man with bullets. <laughs> it's a maze. So many maze games. So little time. Oh, avoid that fly. So you can't kill the fly, I'm assuming? I think. Oh, no, you can. Oh, and the action stops, too. Ah! 1979. Well, maybe not that far back. This is a bit advanced for 79. Oh, maybe... Eh. Maybe not. How many maze games were there in 79? I don't think there's many. I think Pac-Man really kicked off the maze games. Oh, shot too early. It's a pretty simple game. Rally ah, X and Flight terrible. Capture. Okay. Yeah, this looks more like early 80s. But if Rally X came out in 79... Yeah, I was gonna say it looked like Time Salvo as well, with all the, with the grid pattern. Yeah. Nice shooting. One guy left. Whoa. And he comes for you. He does. You can't turn around. Oh, made a mistake. Nice. It's not a terrible game. It's a little it's not, simplistic. Not much to it though. After the flight simulator and the <laughs> like, how gorgeous it, that was. And it is glitchy. Like, if you look at it, or watch the red guys, sometimes they flicker in other parts of the maze. See? See? It's glitching. And there's warpiness. I think somebody was just... was holding on to this game for a long time and then released it much later. Like, 89. Oof. Or just wanted to cash in. There's nothing to do... nothing to cash in on in 89. Oh, they can turn choice. around, you can't. Oh, player one ready. See, that's not old. The the text at the bottom, 
where it says player run ready. That that's not that's not early eighties. Oh come on. Oh, he meant Rally X and Flag Capture mashup. Yeah. Were any of these later games bigger than 16K? Yes, there was a 64K game. Fatal Run. And a game we're going to be playing later on called Mega Boy, which I think was 128K. Or 64. I was pretty sure it's 128. Can anybody confirm that Mega Boy was 128K? I don't even know how you outrun those. Fatal Run 32. Oh, it was Mega Boy 64 then. Okay. Oh, yeah. do you want to play? <laughs> it's very simplistic. Ah, uh, they can turn around. Mega Boy 64. Okay. It's fun, but simple. Mm. Shoot him! Yeah, it's when they're on the same line, they kind of... Yeah. They have lines in them? Like, they're not really... They're flickering, but they're also doing weird things at the same time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's really hard to get behind him to shoot him. It is. When he starts going really fast. Oh, I shot too early. Okay, next one! Mm. Uh... Like this, this is a very late entry for this type Something of game. Something chaos. What was it called again? Universal, Universal chaos. Universal chaos. By nostalgic with telegames. Ooh. Next one is a very ambitious game. I don't know if it pulls it off, but we'll uh, we'll play it and find out. I can't remember if it's two players or not. I think it is. It's Rampage. Sorry, I have to say it to you. Uh, by Activision, Robert C. Polero. Ooh, nice, nice. Great title screen. Uh, it might just want to be one player because there's be too many stuff on the screen. So you get to pick uh, George? three characters. Unlike what I just learned in the NES uh, rundown of this yeah. game, you only get two play two choices oh. in NES. You only get to play two of those: George and Lizzie. No Ralph. No Ralph. But on the twenty six hundred, you get to play all three. So you pick your guy, <gasps> Piora. Your ad here. So he's even got the newspaper, which is pretty impressive. Have you played this before? No. Okay, you climb up the side of the buildings, get to the side, press up. There you go, press up. No. I am. Get to the, a little bit more, a little bit more. There. Now press, eat that guy, press to the left and press the button. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, gotcha. you got shot. And you can shoot that car on the ground or punch the car. So you want to punch the buildings. Oh, you have to press down when you're on the edge of the top too. How so, do you punch the buildings? There you go. Left and right. And if you punch the side of a building enough, oh, um, it cr crumbles down. That's your goal. One more. Yeah, there you go. Punch it, punch it. Punch that. There, get off of it, jump off. How? Uh, to the opposite side. And I think just the button to jump off. Hey, Pseudo Graphics! Welcome to the live show. Uh, yep, yeah, May 1989 by Activision, AK 04904 by Robert C. Polero. So you try and avoid getting shot, and you try and eat things that are in the buildings. So down in the button is gets the complete. Oh, get off of there. How? There you go. Down? To punch, uh, to get the one right where you're climbing on. Ah! down in the button to punch it. Oh, that one's coming down. And you finished the level. Nice! Dateline. Jolie? Juliet? Oh! It's too short in the screen. So you want to eat those dudes on the building? They give you health? Oh, they're gone. So the fastest way to demolish a building is down, punch, 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 all the way from the top down. Ah, ah. So you want to start at the top. Eat that guy, it's shooting you. Yum, 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 yum. The animation for eating is pretty good. It is pretty cute. Yeah, you want to start up top. Right to the top. Oh, yeah, it, it, but avoid the shots. Yeah, punch down and get that car. Can you? Keep shooting you. There you go. Oh, gotcha. 
What a mix of nice and awful graphics. <laughs> it is. Uh, they could have added a bit more texture to the buildings, I think. They are solid yeah. blocks. Like, just chunky blocks. Like, they could have um, done a bit more uh, detail um, vertically, like for bricks and stuff, like staggered, but they just yum, yum, yum. But all they did is like, yeah, we're going for solid. <laughs> we're going to save space. They, maybe they didn't put any more extra RAM in. They wanted to save RAM. Because there's, I guess, quite a bit going on on the screen. I'm not sure what bank switching technique they used for this. And some color, too. Yeah. Oh. Like, your character is solid color, which is terrible. I mean, he is oh, I'm dead? Aww. Good animation, too. It is a mix. It's a mix of terrible, a terrible and, and great. Terrible and good, yeah. <laughs> See, he comes in on a cloud, too. He doesn't just appear. That's great. The, the, the guys in the building look good. Uh, the enemies, the helicopters look great in the distance. They're all shadowed. They look awesome. I see Gingerbread Man left Donkey Kong cart to start in this game. <laughs> well, you know, he was looking for work and he applied for the job in, uh, in Rampage and he got it, you know? It's been a while since he had his gig with, with, with Donkey Kong. There you go. Those helicopters are a bit weak at the top there. I think they could have done more. Since they're on their own line, the character never gets up that high. Okay, we're done with uh, the mix of terrible and good. Uh, I don't know about this one. Hmm. Next one is Dark Chambers. Which, uh, is that based on a TV show? Nope. Oh. There's a uh, TV show called Dark Chambers. This is actually the prequel to uh, Gauntlet. Prequel to Gauntlet? Yes. Some people know that. Some people don't. Hmm. Oh, you're playing Teddy Bear Mode. I'll play Teddy Bear Mode anyway. Look at that. Fading in. Very nice. Simple effect, but effective. Very easy to do. The weird thing about this... Is that a bad guy? Yeah, shoot everybody. Is when you shoot somebody, they devolve into something lesser, which is the strangest thing ever. And only vertical mazes in this, which is fine, and you switch from room to room. It does have generators, so I'll give it that point. Is that a generator? Yeah. Oh, I guess you get that. That's food? Or a bomb. Bet you hold down the button for that. It has been hacked into Gauntlet. Oh yeah, for sure. Huh. But it still devolves. Like, the characters still devolve in the hack, don't they? Because in Gauntlet, they don't devolve. Or do they stay the same? And they just take number more hits. Uh, Dark Chambers was put up by Atari, made by Adam Clayton, also known as Dungeon and Dungeon Masters. Uh, CX-26151. They do devolve in the hack and gauntlet. Yeah, it's pretty weak. Do the enemies only devolve in the 2600 version or others? I'm pretty sure this is on the 7800. Yeah, it is on the 7800. I think I have it. Oh, key to get out of the... Get through a door. This is pretty cute. Yeah. Is there two players in this? Can I start again? No. <laughs> Aw. Oh, two players. All right. This is uh, Nutella mode, so. Okay. Is there angled shots? Oh, yeah, there are. Sure. Oh, there's the exit. Let's go for it. Oh, and a, a gun. Okay. Nice. Okay, so let's go through here. I just disappear. That's cool. Okay. Let's get this generator. Get that guy. Well. I don't think that was food, but it was full. Oh. Up here. Up. Oh, that's dead end. Exit should be here. You don't want to look at the rest of it? Well, we're going to run out of time, so I want to see what happens when okay. you go in an exit. So you start in level D. That's yeah. interesting. It is nice that it features co-op. That's really good. I can see how somebody would be like, oh, this could be made into a bigger game for Gauntlet. That's food. 
so it's got almost all the elements of Gauntlet, actually. Oh, you need food or treasure. Is I that do. treasure? It looks like treasure. Yeah, that's not going to give you health. It's okay. <clears throat> yeah, it's got flicker, uh, flicker handling in it. Uh, good flicker handling. What's that? Oh, generator. I love the skeleton generator. It's just a big, uh, big skeleton head. Oh, there's one right behind us. Oh, you need food. Get that food. Don't exit though. Fade out screens are cool, yeah. Yeah, they're really nice. This is a, a good game. Like in in '89, I can see people going, "Yeah, this is a Not lot bad. of fun." Oh my god, a lot of dead ends. I'm going back. Uh, let's get that dude. Yeah, that isn't that devolving weird. I know he devolves into like a. I don't know. A guy. Than a normal dude. A chubby private or something. <laughs> I'm not sure what it, what it is. Oh my god, so many dead ends. Oh, self-contained room. Oh, you need that food. I don't think you can shoot the food in this game. Thank goodness. Get that gourd. A gourd. <laughs> gourd of food. Gourd, gourd of liquid. We'll pretend it's mead. Oh, that's the exit. Yay, just in time. Level F. Yay. Pretty good. I Fun little game. I think that's really good. I not think a, so too. Not a check mark good. Simple game. Next one is basketball, I think. Yeah, it is double dunk. Uh, by Atari, made by Matthew Hubbard. Uh, CX26159, May 1989. So we can play two players in this one. Oh, look at their look at their '90s sweaters they're wearing, <laughs> or '80s, late '80s sweaters. Nice. Okay. Look at all the options. Look at that nice menu. Uh, low point in game. A zero point. Oh, 36. Go down. Low, 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 low. Low points. Uh, two minutes, or five minutes. Yeah. Two minutes. Uh, three point shots? Yes. Let's do that. Uh, 10 second clock? I don't know. Three second lane? I don't know what that means. Fouls? No, no. Ooh, I get to pick. Uh. Oh. Thanks. I picked mine. Don't. No, you just move. Oh, sorry. Okay, it's okay. Oh, the basketball is kind of cool. They're uh, flipping a uh, um, ball? Yeah. Okay. Press button. Nope. Defense, offense. Oh, okay. I am the red and blue. Traveling. <laughs> Let go of the button. Okay, I've got the ball. Out of bounds. Oh, it's the other team's. I'm green. Yeah. It's just a big pause before I don't, things I don't start. I get this. Oh. The other team's missile is the ball. Let go of the button. Oh. I'm traveling. <laughs> I'm confused. I think these are options somehow. Okay. Get away from me. Oh, oh. Yeah, how do you... I don't I'm know. I'm confused too, how shooting. I thought you are holding the button, but you're not. You actually dribble by tapping the button? Oh. Oh, no, I don't think so. It's automatic dribbling. I'm gonna let you shoot. Oh, oh almost. Double okay. tapping for shooting, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. One button for jumping, then another, another button for shooting. for shooting, which is a weird way of doing it. You just alternate defense and offense, I think. Yeah. It, it's really weird that pause. I'm not sure what's uh, yeah, going I, on. Yeah, I, I, I'm like hitting buttons trying to get it to do something. Oh, you stole it! No. Oh, I ran away. So Pack Rat checked YouTube, and the 7800 version does devolve as well. Oh, three point? No. 
The graphics. Oh, you are... have to clear the ball. You have to break oh, it out back in. That makes sense. Okay. We're slowly figuring this out. Yeah. Three point. Come on. No, no chance. Oh, I went. I went out of bounds. Damn. Turn over. Yeah. No. Oh my God! I didn't know I did the ball. <clears throat> oh, clear the ball. Ah, I went too far. Oh my God. Phil pause with trash talk. Yes. <laughs> Must be. Because it's flashing the things at the bottom there. Oh, you got it. I've got zero points. <laughs> it's really weird. Yeah. Very unintuitive. Come on, shoot it. Oh, zero. Oh, I still have the ball. Shoot it. Oh, come on. How do I get the ball from you? Oh, I did. Oh, I oh, accidentally you have to clear jumped. It. I you have to jumped. clear him. Once you press the button, it's over. You're you're done. Come on, steal the ball. No idea how to steal. Oh, you're just destroying me. I don't know if you steal it. I don't know if there's much defense going on there. Okay. <laughs> Thirteen seconds. Can I make a comeback? No, <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> Six, five. Yeah, you both have to press the button. Oh, is that? You do. Yeah. I've been pressing it man mania no. like a maniac. And you haven't no. been pressing it. No, I I pushed the button once. Oh. You acknowledge that you're on defense or offense. I think. Come on! Yay! There you go. Two points. Good job. You didn't <laughs> lose by that much. Yay! Good times. Next one, double dragon. Very ambitious. By Activision. I do have this one on cart. Sealed with an Atari Age sticker for some reason. This is a black card. Is it PAL? No. Want to play? Or is it two, two player? Oh. Uh, by Donald Han and Dan Kitchen. AK 05004, October 89. Oh my god, I'm getting my ass kicked. I'm dead! Here Holy go. crap! Which one am I? I am the guy on the bottom right. I believe this is an extremely difficult game. It seems it. I'm dying, like, so quickly. I'm dead as well. How do you even avoid them? Oh, I can't even hit them. I can't even either. They're really hard. They're oh my god. I don't think I've got one hit on these guys. Let's kick. Oh, nope, he's just elbow. Oh, I got a hit on. I'm dead. Wow, this is a hard game. Oh my god. Game over. That is hard. The graphics of Very the nice, are good. but the gameplay is not balanced. I think maybe I put it on the hard level. Try easy, but. Game one. Game two, game three. Game one. Hey, where's the two player? I guess it's always. Uh, we'll play single player then. I have a single. You want to play? Sure. I'm not doing very well at this. Kitties everywhere. Oh, they're so sleepy now. So high. So post high sleepiness. Oh my god, it's so hard. Destruction. Double Dragon Destruction. Ah. Oh, oh, you got one! Woo! Oh my god! You have to hit them well before they get close to you. Oh, kicking is good. I think you have to hit them yep. well before they're close. I'm not even... Oh, another change of scenery. Activision Sunset. Yeah, that's the key. Yeah, you can't let them get close. Oh if my they god. just destroy you. Oh my god. <laughs> See, the, the hitbox is huge. He is scared of me. Oh my god. They don't both go after you, though. Uh, it would be Flicker. That's a no-no. No, but like, it would be impossible if oh, they both attacked you at the same time. Yeah, it's hard enough. And done. Uh, oh, oh, that's hard. Gosh. Made it to the second part, second <laughs> level. 
<clears throat> I'm gonna switch it to A difficulty, just in case it's backwards for some reason. Let's see if this is any easier. You just have to hit them before they get close. Oh, ah! Maybe. No. Oh, they're not taking as much out of you. Maybe this is the easier difficulty. I think this might be a little bit easier. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, your months. health is not going down as fast. Ah, uh, okay, this is easier. Yeah. That was on the hard one. Ah! No! Stop it! Get away! Oh. I make it to the third level. No! Still have two lives. I make it to the third screen. <laughs> Double Dragon is not this hard in the Fresh arcade. Says, People at AA hate it too. <laughs> oh yeah? Come on. Get here. Oh, he's so scared now. Come on. Come on. He's like, come to me. Oh, he is. Come on. Oh, you bastard. Almost. No, oh. oh, run, 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 run. Oh my god, third screen. I can't believe it. What does it look like? Oh, nothing. Oh, he's got a Bad club. guy. Oh, can I pick it up? <gasps> nope, keeps picking it up. Let me have it. Oh. I want that club. Oh, he's Celtic dropped it. says there are no difficulty settings. Game three is player versus player. Oh, oh can interesting. I the club? Do I get it? Come on. <gasps> yes. I beat you now. Now you will be defeated. <laughs> well, the game is over, but. Uh... Oh, oh, no. Oh, he got it now. Oh, I no. Lost the club. That's and okay. now you're dead. Yeah. Beaten with the club. And that's the last cartridge I have. Okay. Of this era. Wow. Rest our rare. Um, next one is Glacier Patrol by Telegames, by Ed Salvo, October 89, 5667-8, A106. Okay, this one is pretty weird. Okay. Um, so, uh, he's dropping ice. You shoot the ice. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Oh, too late. Um, there you go. And there's things that will bowl you over at the bottom. And you have to jump over them. Jump? How do yeah. I jump? Uh, up or down. How do I get up? Uh, you oh wait. my god. How? That's not jumping at all. Get up! There you go. That's jumping. You figured it out. How? I don't know. You jumped. Oh, there. it's down. Why do they make these things so weird? <laughs> no standards. It was the Wild West. Oh, Jesus. Nice on the joystick. The joystick is fine. <laughs> yeah, down for jump is terrible. Why would you make down for jump? Why would you ever do that? There's this huge pause. Yeah. There's a huge pause after you shoot, and you can't. It's almost like you can't move. Oh. And you can't jump. Yeah, you should have jumped first. It's a terrible game. <laughs> this does, terrible does not game. look like '89. This one is a bit anachronistic. Anachronistic. It's a terrible game. <laughs> is it? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh my God! You Great. can't even move fast enough. <laughs> yeah, look at his movement. It's like weird and slow and then fast. Short-legged man. Yeah. Oh God. He is a short-legged man. How am I supposed to move? <laughs> How did he shoot when he was sitting on his ass? I, he can shoot, funny. but he can't move. Game three is player versus player. Oh, God. interesting. This is a terrible game. <laughs> the ship at the top looks okay. That's yeah, it's not pretty. bad. The rest of it is just bad. You can't even get to it in time. Look how slow, unless there's a faster way to walk. Uh, this reminds me of the other game, which you're shooting aliens and occasionally they pop up at the bottom of the screen and you had to shoot sideways to get them. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, I don't know the game name of it either. You have to anticipate it quite a bit, don't you? You really have to anticipate the jumps. 
I guess it's not game over until they cover the whole bottom with ice. I guess so. Nice jumping. Oh, it slides. That's kind of cool. Do you see that? It goes bloop. You can either jump or you can jump and run. Oh, it slides all the way to the left. And if there's nothing on the left, it goes, it flips oh, across the screen. This is a terrible, terrible game. <laughs> Weird concept. Yeah, super weird. Like, what, what is happening? I like to read but the, the write up for that. The controls and the movement are just terrible. <laughs> He's so slow. He. <laughs> they sure named this to cold and miserable. Oh, you can jump sideways. Yes, but you can't move uh -huh. faster. Oh, you got two pieces left. No, oh, it's easy. Ugh. Reminds me of um, See. Boink as yeah. well. Oh, Your now it happens. It just stops. Oh, end of game. Oh, terrible. Yeah, oh. get the movement. How come he was chunky and slow at points? I'm really fast. Relatively fast. But in yours, he was like kind of slow. I could barely move side to side. Oh, you know what? It might have to do with where the ice blocks are. Like he trips up on the uh, the ice when it's there. Maybe. Let's the ice see. slows you down? Oh, it does? It does. Oh, my God. So the longer the game goes, the worse it gets. It just gets harder. Oh, what a shame. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Next one's BMX Air Master. By TNT Games. Uh, by Adam Clayton, uh, cartridge number 26192. Nice uh, title screen. Let's play two players. Not right. arcade. Oh, okay. uh, not practice, though. How do I arcade? It's always advanced? Try left and right more. More? Oh, I see there. Practice standard, arcade standard, two player? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Nice title. Oh, nice oh, background. Awesome. Player one, L5, level five. So you have to pedal. No, oh, it's one pedal. Another pedal. It's up and down for pedaling. <clears throat> I'm guessing it is an H move line. Most of. All I admire you both for enduring the five minutes every time. Some of them you want to play for longer. I don't know how to do this. Left and right. Oh, you got two pedals in there. There you go. I think you have to build up speed. Oh, let him roll back. Oh, you're done. <laughs> don't even know what I'm doing. You get two pedals in. And you roll back. One, two, three, four. There you go. Oh, oh, I fell over. Wow. Oh. Yeah, it's just left and right, and then you wait for him to roll back. Yeah. Oh. You're still playing. Oh. It's not rotate. No, it is left and right. It is left and right. There you go. Oh, landing is hard. Oh, I kind of turned my wheel. Press fire in the middle to change direction. Oh, I made it to the top. Oh, bye-bye. Oh my god! What trick is that? Defying gravity? Oh, oh, I landed one. Oh, almost. Oh, got some points for falling. Now it's your turn. So, back and forth. Yeah, just left and right. But don't do it while you're rolling backwards, because you'll slow yourself down. Gotcha. Okay, press your button. Okay, let go. Don't touch. And again, left to right. And button for tricks. Oh, well, I landed it. Oh, oh, my God. Your back wheel touched that, and you died. He just gives up. He's like, man. Do 
two things. Oh my god, there's a second screen! Oh, you landed it! Nice. Oh, oh I have to do something off the back edge. You have to turn around, maybe? I guess so. Saints win, Saints win. Glacier Patrol was from the Skeet Shoot guy. Was it? Ed Salvo. Oh, Ed. You're trouble. If you get enough speed, you can do tricks in the air. Yeah, you made it really high up in the air that one time. And then time. I went back down. I think you have to flip over because it hates... Oh, And then nice. I flipped. Perfect, perfect. But then I don't nice. know. Turn around. I don't know how to turn around. Oh, it hates that. Oh, oh my God. You do have to turn around. No, but I hit the button. It didn't turn me around. Hmm. There's definitely more to this game than is apparent. <laughs> Getting some points. Yeah, doing very well. Oh, not enough. Not quite. There, perfect. So How I flipped around. Flip? I didn't. That's like the minimum. Oh, you have to flip. Do something. Oh, oh, your head. Back of your head. I don't I don't really know what you're supposed to be doing oh, in the air. Over. But I got some points. Both are turns Nothing. Over. Neat though. Yeah, I bet you could do you some have to flip really around, but I'm not sure how you flip around each I bet you time. could do some really fun stuff in the air. Yeah, I think you need again, manuals. Well we have manuals, but we don't have time to read. No, but manuals. that's what I mean, like I'm sure we could figure that out. Next one's Off the Wall by Atari, December 89. This one is very straightforward. Oh, let's see it. This one is, oh, we can play a peasant. Oh, do two player. Uh, off the Wall, uh, made by John Viffan, also called Bizarre Breakout, Peasant King, Zip and Zap. So you just bounce the ball back. Uh, CX26168. What am I doing? It's Breakout with a joystick. Hooray! What's going on? They'll hit, they'll throw the ball. Joystick is the best input device for Breakout. Don't you agree? No. Nice. Good job. Oh, you hit, you killed the worm. Is oh, that that's a good, uh, good hit. CX26168. Oh. oh. My turn. Or not. No, it's just one player. Oh, okay. I was trying to adjust it and then it just started playing, which is weird. Another game with an annoying bird. Yeah. That oh. bird is blocking. Pterodactyl birds. But something. actually, the bird helped you, I think, last time to bounce I'm, it back up maybe. there. Maybe. I think I got a power up. Mm. Oh. oh, never be distracted by the power ups. I know. Ups. That is the problem in these games. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, the bird oh, is it's helping. helping you. Very helpful. Well, not really. Oh, you oh, control you the, the bird. bird. Oh, so he is helpful. Kind of. Very, actually, is very helpful. Little bomb. Oh, he's helpful he's and not cool. helpful. No, no, you have to, you have to figure out how to control him. That worm is crazy at the top. Oh, bird gets in your way too. I wonder if anybody's nice. attempted a paddle hack. Yeah, this would be perfect for yeah, a paddle. Yeah, this is pretty neat. Yep. Can you reset for me? Oh no, don't need to. Okay. The guy moves pretty fast, so it's not too bad. Come on, shoot the ball. Oh my god. Terrible. Pathetic. You can hit him, hit the ball with the side of your guy. Psst, 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 psst. Nope. Do not. Oh, what is going on here? I'm like directing the ball now. Maybe on a different version. Oh god. This isn't a bad game, but it does have a number of cheap deaths. Yeah, it's not bad. It's very colorful. The graphics are good. It's got a lot of interesting um, options that Breakout doesn't, like that bird that you kind of control. Oh, I missed it. 
You got a magnet power up. Oh, did I? Oh, that's why it's... I got a magnet power up immediately, I guess. Oh, now it's gone. Oh my god. Come on, shoot it. I guess you're a guy with a stick at the bottom? Oh, is that the magnet? Oh, and then it freaked me out. Oh, I gotta play again. Come on. There we go. Takes forever to shoot the ball. Ooh, magnet. I got the magnet. Ah. Uh. The magnet directs it towards you, which is really good. Cool. Directs it to you, not just lets you hold on to it then. No, it directs it to you. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's very cool. It's a it's a kind of breakout uh, Arkanoid type game with uh, a bird, a bunch of options <laughs> and a bird, and because it's got a lot of power ups. Yeah. So it's more Arkanoid than uh, breakout. Breakout doesn't have. Options. Oh, that gave me more something. And then you can kind of control the bird to. Yeah, it stays where you. So stand. if I stay there. Oh, not oh. right now. It's, it's doing its. Oh, it's going towards the ball right now. Ah. Oh, oh, magnet. Now I can direct it up there. Oh my god, that's awesome. Let's keep it over You're here. You're magneting. Oh, I see. Oh, that's great Neat. when it's up here. Cool, this is very cool. Yeah, I'm going to give this one a check mark. Because it has a lot of options. A lot of power ups. Hi! How's the bad kid? Oh, I can get that worm. <gasps> oh! Did I finish the level? Or hit the worm? And it ate the ball. Oh, I did finish the yeah. level. Very cool. Very that cool game. That one is a check mark. Where is my pen? Uh, next one's radar lock. My pen. There it is. My pen. Watch out for the kitten. Don't sit oh on his head. Oh my goodness. You are nothing but fluffy trouble. This looks very similar. Yeah. Is this radar lock? Yep. Kitten, come on. Wow. Very advanced. You get on my lap. There we go. Ooh, high action. This is crazy. It's got a radar at the bottom. It's got... Keeps track of your guns. Keeps track of altitude? Something. Yeah, altitude. It's got clouds in the sky. Multiple enemies on the screen at the same time. Like, going crazy all around. Really good graphics. Does this reuse part of the Solaris engine? It could. Did I read everything out about it? It oh, is by good. Atari. Yeah, Doug Neubauer, uh, CX-26176. Uh, we're in the last of the 80s, December 1989. I don't see any, oh, the score's at the top. And you're on guns, 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 guns. Yeah, uh, guns, guns, like, guns, guns, guns. I'm guns. guessing you can switch those to some missiles. Maybe you get missiles later. Oh, clouds. Very cool. Oh, that's right. You hiss. Oh, oh. Get that Where radar. What am I trying to get to? No, there's a thing on the bottom in the green that you could get centered on the screen. Let's go to the left. Left. You were turning right for quite a while, so there you go. Okay, now go down. Get it. Oh, there you go. Get in the center. Uh, I don't see anything. It's like mass chaos and then peaceful. Nice flying. There's another radar on the right-hand side. Yeah, missing and something. And it's straight ahead of you, too. So... Yeah, the ship looks like Solaris. Oh, oh, it's coming. 
Or you're going to crash, maybe. You are very low. I don't know what's going on. Maybe you have to land? I don't know. I don't know. Dive into the ocean. <laughs> maybe the next part's an underwater level. <laughs> that would be cool. Missing something here. Anybody? Like, is Tanya... Did she win the game? Now it's... The earth is peaceful. You've destroyed all the enemies. <laughs> like, you think that's what you need to do is... Oh! Whoa! I'm going to the water. Oh, okay. No, I guess you can't. You're low on fuel. Yeah, but... Oh, but where's... Where do you You think go? that's the refueling station, but yeah, it never I showed up. Look at this screen. It looks totally different than the game. That's the start. That's the starting screen. But there's no s nice sunset. It just like disappears. Because it can't do that, I guess. That looks totally different. Cat! Psst, psst, psst. Stop it. Either try. that or you have to climb up to it, maybe. You would think there'd be like a um, ship that you have to land on. What's going on? Oh. Let's try and get that in my radar. Okay, that worked. That worked. So I think that's just your level. I, I don't think you're aiming for that. You just oh. keep turning until you find all the things. I just kept turning. Eventually things would come on See screen. the dot on the right hand side? It yeah. follows the dot in the middle on the radar. I don't know what that is. Yeah, we're missing something. Oh, you pull back in the button. And you speed and up? You speed up. Oh, you get closer to. Oh, okay, there's something above you. It's gone now. the button down does something too. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, cool. Uh, very good graphics. Yeah. Fun to play. Next one's Roadrunner. Roadrunner. As in that Roadrunner. Yep. This one is very arcadey. I believe this was in the arcade. Um, December 89, uh, Robert C. Polero, uh, CX2663. Oh, two players. Peace. There we go. <clears throat> There's a coyote. And you died. What? Start your running. This is me. It's me. You died. Huh? What? Who's playing who? I am. You died. I don't understand. Okay, your turn. Get all the bird seed. Oh, I see. Bird seed. And then there's trucks. Avoid the trucks. Cars ahead. And on a later level, there's like a little path you have to walk through or run through. Yeah, if you get bird seed, you speed up. Without the bird seed, he catches you. Oh, gosh. And you can lead him into oh. the trucks by after the trucks pass you. Gotcha. You go on the same level. So it's level. your turn, this. There we go. Gotcha. Cute. This is cute. Is there a jump? Oh, there is. Oh, oh my god, I need bird seed. Does the road runner say meep meep or beep beep? Meep meep. For sure, he says meep meep. Oh my god. Oh, time. got him too. <laughs> oh, 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 missed. I'm gonna stay in the middle. Oh no, get him! <laughs> Game over. Okay, oh. let's try again. Lost immediately? Yep. That's not fair. It is not. Oh, so hard to get him. Oh my god. How, how do you stay faster? I thought it was, it was eating all the bird seed. Beep beep canonically, really? Is it? I always thought it was meep meep. It sounds like meep meep. Maybe I'm thinking Muppets. <laughs> I don't think you get the bird seed. No? No. Well, you're supposed to get bird seed and the. Oh, that's how you get points, but it slows you oh, down. Oh, that's. Seems to. Yeah, oh that. my god. I was getting too much bird seed. Maybe. I only get a little bit then. Once yeah, not. your points are bird seed, but you have to be careful because it seems to slow you down. Get him. Uh. Changing direction slows you down. Does it? Yeah. Oh, god, I'm when you go up and down, sometimes you slow completely to a halt. Mmm. 
even weird. though you're moving forward. Yeah. yeah. Squish. You have to use the trucks. Oh yeah, up and down really slows you down. No, weird. I'm doing well. No. Cartoons are rarely fair. Thrust says it's mep mep. Hmm. <laughs> Can anybody uh, verify through Wikipedia what <laughs> the Roadrunner says? Oh, I think there's potholes later or something. It's very good graphics. Like the road is really well done um, through uh, Playfield. Oh God doing very well with the with the white i've been pushing the button and that's been doing nothing i thought that's how i oh, was that's how you jump how up button oh that was really screwing me up now i'm realizing oh i didn't need to do anything <gasps> i made it Yay! oh oh now we have to do some jumps nice really good um how did they do that oh my god what the hell was that a bomb that he yeah. laid out Oh my god! <laughs> go! There you go. Very cute game. Wish I was able to play level 2 a bit more. Okay. Yeah, so don't want to get too much birdseed and don't want to go up and down. Maybe it's just the up and down. No, if you stop moving forward, you stop completely. Mm. So you, you do have to kind of like keep tension. Oh, there's parallax scrolling. That is true. It, it should have scrolled the distance as well. It's that would have been it's really good. It's a cute good. game. I really like it. I really like the sprites in it, too. Yeah, the sprites are really good. Oh, got me. The Roadrunner uh, could have been a bit better color, but the Coyote's really good. Yeah. With the brown. I mean, blue? All blue? That's weird. Okay, next one is Secret Quest. Kind of very good. Maze-ish game by Steve DeFrisco and Nolan Bushnell. This last of 1989. Secret Quest. Uh, December 89 by Atari. CX 26170. So you put your initials in. AA is fine. Oh, a bit of a screen bump there. So you run around and shoot people, I think. No. Oh, you get your sword. It's dangerous to go alone. And you smack them. And you get uh, energy and oxygen. Power-ups. Kill that potato. Get your oxygen. Very strange enemies. Oh, came back. Yeah. To defeat two guys. Three guys. Energy. He-Man, Dawn Dictation. I say meep meep. Uh, Secret Rest is definitely more than a five minute game. Yeah, it's more of an RPG-ish type of game. Uh, oh, I've already read all about it. Cool. Yeah. yeah, it's an RPG. Very linear though, it looks so far. Oh, it's like a walking potato chip. Oh, I think you need energy and oxygen from it though. Oh, now you have a choice. Ugh. Oh boy. Yeah, you lose lose uh, uh, use up oxygen as you just exist, and energy when you get hit, maybe. Is it the Nolan Bushnell? Yeah, definitely the Nolan Bushnell. Um, designer. Oh, I'm guessing that's an end thing you need to. <coughs> what, I get can't to? do anything. Not yet, it? maybe. Maybe you need more Something. stuff. Something? You need to get more stuff. You haven't quite seen every level. Oh, he's fast potato. He's mad. Mad oh, potato! Your oxygen! You need to defeat him and get some oxygen. Oh. oh, just in time. Oh my god. Barely enough. Oh, that's a thing. Can't you pick it up. Have enough for whatever. 
Yep, it's one of his games he made in later years. Oh, is the online code to resume. Well, that was your initials for high scores. I mean, it's just for fun. Not that it saves anything. It's no Atari games that saved anything. Oh, God, you need oxygen, though. Oh, that's a thing. Oh, what? Oh, what? <gasps> oh, okay, get get to the exit, quick. Where's run. the exit? I don't know, wherever. Go to the last thing. We're all the way to the left. All the way to the left, up, up, up. That looked like an exit. Yeah, get through the middle. Oh my God, that's not, it's the other room. Oh no, we chose poorly. Whew. Good job, DA. <laughs> oh, still cool. have a minute. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna make it in one minute. You need to enter that simple to leave the level. Oh. Well, we're gonna power through it. Oh, get out of here. So we can get to that symbol. It was here, right? It's the first one up. 20, 19, 18. It must be this room because that's the only other thing. Wow. Speed run. <laughs> that is a speed run. I mean, we knew exactly where it was though. I guess it's not randomly generated. See, we don't need five minutes. I need 30 seconds. Cool creatures. Very cool. Definitely the first type of game like this ish. Potato guy. On the 2600, were there any ones? Oh my god. Whoa, cool. Almost died there. VHZC like thing. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> now it's off. Oh, let's get the. It's a staircase. Oh, yeah. different levels. Green to pink. There's a lot going on. Marston, please. All right. Very nice. How many games left? Uh, <coughs> there are about ten. Next ten. one is Fatal Run. We're gonna get into the PAL games very shortly. Actually, this is a PAL. We'll is see it? if it, we'll see if it works. Oh, kind of works. Let's get uh, some bright colors. That looks right. New game! Oh. That does not look good. Well, maybe the game part will be fine. Press button? No, it's not. It's it's upset. <laughs> it's upset. We're going to uh, go switch over. I'm going to switch over to controller. There you go. Okay. Get the NTSC version. There is an NTSC version. Nice. Uh, that's more work than we're going to do. Do I have the PAL version if there's an NTSC version? Yeah, interesting. Come on. You go away. You go away. They all run. Oh my god, it's off. Is that the str oh, is that the furthest it goes? There we go. Stella. Boom. Okay. Bye. So, Fatal Run. Uh, we're into 1990 now. Uh, unknown date in 1990. Uh, by Atari, uh, also known as Ultimate Driving, by Steve Aguirre, uh, CX-26162. I think it's a straight-up driving game. Yes. I think you can go much faster than 20 yeah. years. Much, much faster. No timer. Timer is missing. Oh, yeah, sorry. We're going to have to go by audio. I'm going to redo it. Yeah, I don't have the timer on the screen for um, Stella Games. I don't seem to be able to speed up. Oh. Okay, sorry. No. I was focused on 
That was turning. I would say so that or it just doesn't know what to do. Oh, that's a wall. I think you could shoot shoot those dudes. Unless you, you don't want it. Oh, look at that game over. Cool. There is shooting. Is there? It wasn't shooting. Bump into the cars. I thought there was shooting. Maybe you pick up shooting. Uh, maybe at some point, yeah. Oh, you can do it. Watch, I'll shoot. Nothing's shooting. You can't see it. No, you're not shooting. You're still Bump and jump without the jump. Boom, boom, boom. Eighty-four. That's good. That's good. Good handling on this car at 160 miles an hour. What are all those stats on the side? I think you have to get through. Oh. Oh, I need that. Whatever that was. is, I assume it's good. It made a good noise. Yeah. Like, how are they not destroying you at the same time that you're destroying them? If you don't? Oh, is he hitting me from behind? Or I'm out of Maybe. fuel or something? It is a fatal run. Yeah, that's right. Right is damage? Left what? is radar? There's four bars. There's four bars. We need colors. Um, Left is the radar. Right is, well, some oh, aspect of it is damage. Some, Your four wheels, oh, different maybe? different types of damage. Okay. That's funny. The radar is like, yeah, I can see there's a part on the screen. Yeah, it's too good. I guess that's for behind is helpful. But in front of you, you can, s I think you can see the car before it shows up in the radar. Ooh. I think those, uh, Give you some help back to me? See? See the car? I can see it. It's not in my radar yet. Now it is. Now it is. It's only good for me. Oh my god. It's not... Yeah, very helpful for me. Oh, that. Oh, that. Oh, that. Is that breaking then, maybe, the button? No. Let's see. He's, he's attacking from the I mean, it's, it's an okay racing game. Yeah, it looks nice. Looks lovely. The scrolling in the background is, is really, really cool. Yep, it is. Oh, it's got hills too. You can see it go up and down a little bit. Oh, get out of here. No! No! These cars are very good at matching their speed. Slowing down. I have a feel. Oh, God. Yeah, that's the fuel. Must have been a refueling station. It has an F in the middle, and it has an arrow pointing forward. Does that mean fuel's coming up? Or maybe I'm so damaged that I can't um, go fast. My bars are low. Yeah, they are. Stop. You need some of those. Keep an eye out for it. Things. I don't know if they actually. Oh, that card disappeared. Oh! Oh, I Yay! did it! Yay! Isn't this a Turbo Graphics game, too? Yeah. Really? Fatal run? Next time, you will need to push harder. Oh, I died? Oh, it's no, just no. the end. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, what? This is. What do I want? Some E's? <laughs> Let's get some E's! Nope. Oh! Oh, I'm buying them. Oh, you need the F. Fuel. Nope. Stop it. Oh, you have no green. What's going on? Weird. I don't know what e any of those things are. Button doesn't do anything. Only right does it. I don't know. Blue? I'm gonna spend all my coins. Got two seconds left. Weird. Go! Oh my god, it's totally different! Full fuel. It didn't show the green though when you were filling up your yeah. fuel. Nice backgrounds. Cool. Okay. Well, that's it for Fatal Run. It's a cool driving game. I'm sure there's much more to it. Um, 
also known as Ultimate Driving. Next game is Clax. And these are all PAL games. PAL. I think people were just noting there's no timer on this screen. I know, but it, it's, I don't have it set this up This particular for... screen doesn't have it. Uh, it's by Atari. Go for it, if you can. Very, um... What's that game? So, I would start with Wave 1. Uh, so it's matching things. You, you, you catch them, yeah. and then you drop them at the bottom, and then you match three of them. There you go. Uh, by Steve DeFrisco, uh, CX26192, January, or just 1990, we don't know the date. So you drop that over the red, and there you go. Tempest, yes, that's what I was trying to think of. It's very Tempest menu-like. I mean, Atari made Tempest, so... They uh, copied the uh, menu for uh, Tempest, the, especially the three different options there. Yay! You stacked three things. It gets more hectic. Uh, yeah, I would. I would expect and, so. This is pretty. Slow. And you can catch more than one thing at a time. Yeah. So you can stack you can them stack up, them. especially when it gets more hectic. That's why you would need more to stack more than one. And you can also push the button to throw the tile back onto the conveyor. Can you? How would, the button drops it. So how do you do you press up to throw it on the conveyor somehow? Let's, let's see. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can Play throw it clap. up. Oh, you press up. Up, yeah. And it just throws it off the screen. Oh, now it's good. Yay! Starting to get more hectic. Wave two. You must get five clacks. Okay. Oh, those made-up names for in video games. So can I take this and... Well, Clax oh, is a beautiful version. Yeah, it, it totally works. Like, the spinning of the... Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So okay. if you don't have the right one at the time, you I can still it. stack them up. I think it's the first, first on, no, last on, first off. Let's see. Yeah, so get a red and a blue, and see what I think it's the blue that goes off first. Is that? Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Any, any yeah, other I, way? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure it out. So. Makes sense. You may be able to pull down to accelerate the conveyor as well. Try that. Yeah. Yep, you can make it faster if you need to. If you want to get it over with, I guess. Like Tetris. Yeah. It's almost, but not completely, unlike Tetris. Yeah, it's it's Tetris-like. And I guess the complexity comes in when it gets fast. Really and you fast. don't have time to drop. Oh, those are two different blues. Subtle. Oh, they are. Oh, my God. Subtle. Subtle colors. That's a light blue. So you may want to put that. Yeah, I'm going to put it next oh, to you. You finished the level. I see. I see. Oh, you get more points for horizontal and diagonal Oh, classes. you get really. Oh, you have to do three diagonals this time. So. Diagonals at the bottom. Now it gets complex. Okay. Yeah, really good um, increase in size as the blocks come down. That's really well done. So good uh, perspective view. Uh, that's why you would store it up, right? Because then you just get the white, drop that there, and then drop the blue. Nice. Kick an ass on Clax. Shades of Connect 4. Yeah, the rules are like Connect 4. Oh, yeah, you don't want to do that. That's why you want to store it up, not just because it gets hectic. Don't want to drop it yet. One diagonal to go. Is that the same color? Yeah. Yay! Gotcha! There's like okay. crowd noise and whistling at the end. Yeah. Connect three. Copyright violation averted. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> you are correct. Okay, the timer went off. It's now time for Mega Boy. We don't know who made it. It has no number. <laughs> it's made by Dynacom. 
And we can play it on a real Atari. Because it was made in Brazil. As I know. <clears throat> oh, gotta stop the... Stop the... Emulator. Come on. There we go. And go back to the 2600. In purple. Purple! Woo! I like purple. It is nice, but it won't Not nice the correct color. <laughs> that looks nice. So, Mega Boy. Uh, this is the first and only classic 64K game. And it is big, and you'll see why. It has huge graphics and lots of information in it. Look how long it takes to load! Oh my god. Oh, this may not work. Oh, it does. Okay. In 1990. Oh, what happened? Let's see what 64K gets us. Uh, yeah. I was going to call it short circuit, but it seems to be an actual short circuit. Try it again. I think I may have to emulate this. Yeah. 64K games don't work on my, on this, uh, um, cartridge. Anything that says an E goes nuts. This one. This time it didn't even load. No. That's what happens with 64K games on my Encore. Uh, we're going to... Uh, Emulate it? Is it on the Uno? I don't know if I loaded all the games on the Uno. Uh, go down, 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 over. No, okay, I didn't load every game. We're going to have to emulate it. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, that cake is calling to me now. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Can't wait. Gotta for get the cake. through all the games, then we can have Can't cake. Wait for the cake. <laughs> Come on. There we go. This was mega. That joystick will not work. Oh, sorry. Might uh, want to restart the five minute. Yes. Okay, we oui, vamos a prender a brincar. Uh, Dynacom. Look at that. Big graphics. Okay, press button. No? I don't think the buttons are working. There we go. There we go. So you definitely want to do it in English. Ingles. Ingles. Uh, you can pick anyone. Try the top one. So that's a camel. Can you spell camel? It's a kid's game, by the way. <laughs> Apparently I can't. Ah! Yeah, Carl knows that my harmony doesn't like 64K. <laughs> Be an animal? Yay! He's so happy! Oh, you spell short camel. circuit is so happy! Can you spell 40? You can see what? why it's 64K. Oh, I see. Because it has pictures for every clue. That's a, like, educational games for the 2600 in the 1990s? Yep. Because this is, the, after the crash, they shipped everything to Brazil. And, and the 2600 took off in Brazil. Because they couldn't sell them in North America. So it got really, really, really popular in Brazil. So that's, uh, this is kind of the beginning of the big Brazil boom, or part of the big Brazil boom, boom, because that's why we're ending up with a bunch of PAL games at the end. Oh, I see. Well, no, they're not, I, I correct myself, they don't use PAL in Brazil, but, um, I feel oh, I so could, smart. I could oh, use the, so uh, plus cart, that's true. Very true. Brick wall? Uh, oh. What is that? It's not a wall. It's a very wide graphic. Bricks? What is that? Bricks? Now I'm confused. D R I C K S. Bricks. You we got 86 so? seconds. I think so. Like this. There we go. That's no. Oh. Nostalgia got it. We're as smart as an eight year old. Woo! 
We can spell. Prickles. There's other variations of this game where the, the letters scroll by and you have to pick them as they scroll by. Oh, G? that's cool. Cup? Probably cup. Oh, Susanna. Is it just this over and over again? Uh, I read that there's another song later. <laughs> but not till you're absolutely 100% sick of this. He steps on his hat if you get it wrong, by the way. Oh, can I get it wrong? Yes. Oh, swear words. What are you doing? No. <laughs> swear words? Still spelling swear words. Oh, you can't get it wrong. No. Oh, the other games you can get it wrong. How many times did we hear this music in the last 400 games? A lot, because it's free. <laughs> okay, are we done? Oh my goodness, a minute more. <laughs> a minute more of spelling. It's good good uh, graphics. Like, that's a pretty good swan. The robot's good, too. But it's just banks and banks of 4K of graphics. <laughs> and what the graphics are. Whoa! Clover? Why is it red? There are some red in Clover, but I've never seen a fully red Clover. Default music nope. player. It's not oh my over. god! Is it flower? Uh, uh, yeah. Oh my god, you only have to change a couple letters for flower. Oh, English. You're awesome. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> that's not a. That's a bad flower. Die? Dice. No. It's not. It's incorrect. That's incorrect. What else could it be? I mean, it's it gotta is be dice, dice, but it is a die. It's only one die. Oh. Teaching these kids wrong. We taught them wrong on purpose. Oh, Susanna. <laughs> Pips. Go on. Pips. <laughs> uh. Glove. I mean, that's right. They didn't eating. make you spell he, he gloves. Has... No, he's, he's cuddling. Aww. But he's cuddling on the wire. There we go. Oh, you're so cute and adorable at times. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, you won! Yay! Oh, the timer's flipped. Oh, oh, okay. Just in time. Boot. Okay, what's next? I've got a cat on me. Uh, well, I don't have to get up. It's my golf on PAL! Oh my god, that music. It's the fixed version. By H E S. Nineteen ninety. Uh, by David Lubar. Five three five. Press button. This is actually a really good golf game. You want to play? Yeah. The graphics are quite good. It does look good. So you um, pick your club, and I'm gonna pick a one wedge. Wedge. It's pretty far. Oh, not wedge. No. What wood. is it on oh, wedge? Oh, it's wood. I want oh wood. my god. Yeah. What would it be a wedge? Yeah. Yeah. Wood. Oh, you can also view. There's the hole. There's okay. the middle. That's where wow. we are. Quite nice. One wood. Yeah. And there's your dude. He's going to golf. So you want to get, press it and press it on a top power. Okay. And then press it on that line for accuracy. And you can um, oh, pick your direction. It. I can see the direction there. So big power and accuracy. Boom. Oh, oh off to the right a bit. But that's, oh, that's fine. fine. Oh, we're going to get to the next screen. Nice. Very good. This is a great looking golf game. Keep on the one wood. Um, I'm going to go. Where was the green? Think to the left, was it? Or? Go a little bit to the left. Hi, cat. Oh, you're so adorable. So that's two. Oh, we're and almost there's there. The green. Doing pretty good, I think, so far. So now, probably not a wood anymore. No, probably. Um, Iron. Th th four? Three? We'll do four. 
For someone who doesn't like golf, you know a lot about what irons. I like. worked at a golf course. <laughs> I don't like golf. But you you didn't caddy. No, I did not. No. But I know Enough. different angles. Yeah. Like one is very flat and it goes up from there, yeah. correct? So I'm gonna do there and there. Is that nice? Ooh, it might be. Might be, might be, might be. Oh, very good. Oh, I, very nice. I actually like playing golf on the computer. Oh, no, Mike. So I do too, actually. I it's like golf games. Quite nice. And I'm a fan of putting and mini putts. And there's only a putter. So. Oh, and do you not get. Oh, you do get angles. And it automatically does it for you. Oh, I think it delivers here. <gasps> oh, my God. That'd be awesome. Sorry, sorry. Um, and I'll I'm going to do about golf half. Away, golf away. Is that enough? Oh, a little bit off. Did the timer go off? What happened? Oh, it stopped. No, it didn't go off. That's a good game. Oh, what happened? Come on. Oh, I have to on. Focus back on Stella. No putter. You don't get much, much accuracy in the direction. Just a little touch. Oh, yes. The ball should be bigger there, actually. So, hole two. One would definitely... Oh, no, I want a view. I can go back. Okay, where is the hole? Oh, it's straight up. Ooh, some water. Nice water. Look at the graphics. They're so good. I, I think I'm gonna put a check mark beside this game. We're gonna go full power, boom. Oh my God, so inaccurate. Oh, it still went very straight. Weird. Oh no, we veered off a bit there. Hello, Mike Soul. And straight ahead again, boom, boom. Oh, a little off, that shouldn't be too bad. Might veer to the left a tiny bit. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Oh, stop. <laughs> Oh, just. Okay, we want like a nine iron, pretty much. Let's go eight. And not much power. The hole's right in the center. I'm gonna go up there. Oh, a little bit off. Oh, way too much. No, no, actually, very good. Just went up fast. Putter. Yay. Yay! Kleenex! Kleenex! It's d difficult running out of Kleenex when you're co Ugh. when you have COVID because you can't go out of the house and go buy it, so you have to get it delivered. <sighs> uh, okay. That's a relief. So how's just, your how's your I'm doing going? pretty good actually. Oh, is this another hole? Yeah, hole two. Oh, will I get it? Oh, oh so close. It's, it's the aiming is bad. It needed the only bad thing about this game, I'll show you, this. This needs to be further out yeah. for better aiming, like some pool games have it, so it's way out. Because this is like, the accuracy is so poor. I'll get it in, though. Oh, what? Oh, come on. Way too much power? Jumped over. Look at it. He's got a red nose. Oh. <laughs> his, his head's he's way too over. far down. Yeah. Uh, so just a tiny bit of power. Yay. Okay, your turn. Oh, two minutes? Yeah, I had to reset it. Reminds me of C64 Leaderboard. One of the best golf games ever is Leaderboard. It was so good. Took forever to draw the screen, though. That's the only problem with Leaderboard. But it looked gorgeous. What? That's like my real putting. Okay, so you pick your club, press a button. Press the button again. There you go. Now you aim. Probably straight, because you don't know where the hole is. She sure. Didn't view it. Well, that's off to the left a bit. But... Oh, oh, missed it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Press button. Press it for power at the top. Oh, oh. that was not much power. That was awful. Oh, try that again. You may want something more than a one wood to get over that tree. I thought the one wood was the highest. Uh, no, it's the most flat, straight. Oh. It's good for distance. Uh, is it? I don't know what I'm talking about. No, neither do I. I'm also delusional. From COVID. I'll blame everything on that. 
Oh my god, what just happened? Okay, it's all good. You may want to view before you hit the next one. No, I, I wanted it to go, I didn't want it to hit the tree, so. Okay, oh I see. How do I view? Press button, go to view, up, 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 or down, down, down. One of those, keep going in one direction. Uh, all the way up to the bottom. Oh, I'll keep going. Oh, sand wedge. And now press up to go to up. Oh, wow, long, long hole. Four screens. <laughs> Mike Soul says, James, that's my level of golf knowledge. twice. It's uh, just really three slow wood, to four advance. Wood, five wood, I don't know. One. One? Oh, it's up. Let me, let me okay. have one more. It's also a prototype game Mean 18 for the Atari 8-bit, which is super slow in the drawing the scenery. Yeah, t on those old systems to build up the, I guess, the screen buffer, they would draw, 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 draw. Mm. Um... You gonna keep playing? No, 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 no. Oh. I just wanted to try hitting it because oh, it didn't okay. quite work properly last time. Okay. It's neat. It looks it's really, really good. good. Uh, next one's a PAL game as well called Pick and Pile. We need help from the audience for this one because <laughs> I read the instructions and I still didn't understand it. Salut Limited. Uh, Dennis M. Kiss, 460673. Press button. Enough of that music. License from Ubisoft. Ubisoft? Ubisoft! Really? In 1990. Wow! Old, old Ubisoft game. Uh, wow. It's crazy. It's not a good game. Okay, uh, press button. Uh, just one player is fine. I don't know what Tic Tac is. I would definitely do easy. But it's got a menu. And it's using Playfield for full screen menu. What am I okay, doing? you don't do anything yet. So apparently the instructions say you stack things vertically to match them to make them disappear. So you've got three circles and squares. Okay. So you swap things. So pick one of those. There you go. And to match them. But unfortunately. Oh, no, you still got two. Vertically? Those circles and, and crosses. So match those circles and crosses. What are you talking about? That, yeah. Press it. And then swap it with something else to. Oh, vertical. anything. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so oh. that's the game. As far as I know it. Um, you will run out if you. Uh, no. On top. It has to be on top, though. I you can't swap so. that. Huh. Or beside. You have to swap things, I think. There you go. Now it's flashing. I think you could swap spaces. Nope. Weird. Best title screen ever. No, just slow flood fills. Oh, flood fills. That's what it's waiting for. Oh. Okay, Guess that you was completed all of it. it. I get it. But there's still simplistic. stuff on the board, though. No, you can't get rid of everything on the board. Oh, when you can't do it, then it... And I think it clears it as it drops it. Yes. It matches. It's going to clear all those triangles, I think. Or not. Yeah, it will. Oh, and they fall, too. Boulder dashy. Hi, kitty. So it's like... What? What am I supposed to do? Maybe the blocks are, like, things you can't move, and the triangles are non-matchy. Confused. Oh, start trying to match things. You've got a 500 to match those. Yeah. What? Oh, didn't disappear. I'm missing something. Flicker on this is pretty rough. Well, there's a lot of stuff on the screen. Oh, you matched something. There you go. Oh, now it's doing the triangles. Well, what, only when they fall. I guess. I don't know. Seem to match on the first level, though. Oh, no. 
And there's two 500s on top of each other, too. No. Right on top of it. Weird. Nothing good for epileptics. No, not good for them. Do not play this game. Gives you lots of time. Yeah, oh, sure. yeah, there you go. Put that in between the th two boats. Try that. You can't do that. You have to flip it with something. Oh. But this doesn't want to flip at all. Nope. Try with the triangle. I don't quite understand. It doesn't seem to want to flip triangles. Mm, maybe they're immovable. So just this guy? Try squares. Oh, that flipped. You did move a triangle. Oh, time's up. What a shame. I don't understand. Weird. Okay, we're done with this. And we're done. Is the color a factor? Huh? Uh, Maybe it is. No, the same colors on each line. Yeah. So beep, boop, beep, boop. boop beep, yeah. Beep, beep, that doesn't get old fast. <laughs> it's supposed to be tension filled. Uh -huh. It needs to get a tiny bit faster as it, as it goes along. So next one is uh, a real game, Ikari Warriors. Big Ikari hit in the arcade. Warriors. Uh, made by Dan Kitchen. Nice. Uh, for Atari, May 91. We're into 91. Uh, CX 26177. Okay, shoot everything. That's the name of the game. No, doesn't start? Always not. You always I always try move the button. around. Try the button this first. Looks like Commando. Yeah, it's another shooting game. It's pretty much the same. It looks same. exactly like Commando. <laughs> Are you sure it's not Commando? It's not. Oh my god. There's different uh, play field. Yeah, it's the same. You still get oh my grenades. God. The enemies look almost the same. They look identical. Um, they don't have the shine on their helmet. They don't have the shine. Oh yeah, because that's... <laughs> oh, somebody's hidden in there. You can use the grenade. How? Uh, hold it down. Maybe. There you go. Oh, destroyed the whole thing. Nice. Mm. Get that? You can get in that. That's your tank. There you go. Just don't get hit. Hopefully in this game, when you get hit, you get kicked out of the tank like in the arcade. Because the other game that we played... Oh, you have uh, fuel. So you ran out of fuel. This isn't an adult game, is it? The pick and pile? <laughs> Only for adults. Oh, I see. You'll get kicked out. Yeah, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, what the hell? Press button. There you go. Oh, just it took just a took while. A second. Ooh, helicopter. Ah! Oh, you might need to bomb it or just avoid it. No video. Oh my god, sorry. That's why you're saying. Oh god. That's why. Trying to use the grenade. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> no screen six. No screen eight. No screen nine. <laughs> sorry about that. I was wondering why you're saying it was Run an adult away. game. Run! It is a very adult game. There are uh, themes of violence. Themes of violence. It's adult too adult for your young eyes. Sorry, forty year olds that are watching. Oh. Not very good at this. You're much better at uh, Commando than I am. Core demographic of no video. Thirty-five to forty-five <laughs> year olds. Yeah, it's better just say no video than is this an adult game? <laughs> <laughs> I was confused. Funny though. <laughs> you do get bullets in this though. That's interesting. Give me my tank. Tank me up. I'm gonna run over you. Can this destroy? Oh yeah, the tank can destroy them. Yeah. Destruction. You definitely want to just go straight because... Yeah, I don't want to lollygag. Lollygag. Yeah, nice. those guys are hard. 25. Oh, this is unlimited bullets. Oh, oh my god. Uh. Don't tell me I start way back at the beginning. Nope. Oh, okay. No. Oh. Oh, oh, run, run, run. I'm at the final 
boss? Nope. Nope. Oh, I have you to gotta, I think you have to just dodge him. Oh, it opened up for me. Oh, I don't think I can destroy that tank. Uh, I think you can destroy the people oh, in I it. I am dodging. <gasps> oh, oh my God. it's hard. Boats are a little bit faster in this than wow. Commando. Commando again. Yeah, it's pretty much. They're both very similar. They both have tanks. Was there tanks in Commando? Yeah. 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 Many similar games in that era of uh, arcade. I mean, I do like these type of games. Oh god, this oh. one's so hard. This one's a lot harder than Commando. Oh, it is. For sure. I think the bullets are faster. Just go straight. Because I'm not able Run. to dodge. Go straight. Every movement you make. Just delays. Yeah, I don't think you get hit either. Oh, maybe by the tank. Oh, you can't do diagonals. Yeah, so you've lost a lot of gas just from <laughs> moving side to side. No, it's true. <laughs> just go for it, right? Just go for it. Ah! Did they take... Watch out, you're gonna lose. Oh, I jumped, exposed! I out. Exposed! I am exposed. I'm shirtless. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. But that's my first guy. Okay, your your timer went off, but... Oh, I know. I'm no, no, play. it's okay. It's okay. I'm just letting you ah. know. Oh, I'm not going to make it anyway. It's, it's too hard. Oh, oh, it's water time. Trudging through the water. Oh, no, it's no slower. Interesting. Oh, your bullets go so far. Come on. Can we make it to the end of level one? One, le one guy left. Oh, oh my god. Just avoid tanks. No, don't shoot me! I'm a journalist. You, you have to, uh, you have to use your, uh... I'm a journalist with a gun. I'm stay. I'm just run up the right-hand side. Right, right, right. Oh, I want that tank. That's good, that's good stuff. Protection. Go to the good side. night, Arena Foot! Good night! Is it already night? Oh, is that fuel? Oh, it is fuel! More tanks. Or I, it's not night, but have a good have a good day. <laughs> have a good Sunday. Might be evening for him. Uh yeah. Afternoon. Afternoon. Evening. Oh. oh no, I still have a life. Is it the end of the level? No, it just keeps going. Good perspective on that wall there though. Oh, it's game over. Okay. Pretty, pretty decent. Uh, <laughs> Arena, bring back chips, Danny, if you see says. <laughs> yes, please. Next one's Moto Rodeo, also known as Motor Olympics and uh, Motor Rodeo as well, by Steve DeFrisco, CX26171 by Atari, March 1991. So you pick ty uh, type of truck, you pick type of tires, and you want to be on player. Unless you want to watch the computer play itself. Go for it! Oh, reset. This is the uh, fifth last game! Oh, nice menu system. So, you want to keep your vehicle straight after you jump. So you can land. Oh, straighten up! Uh, straighten up? Yeah. How, how do you straighten up? Left, right, up, down? I can't remember. Uh, it's too hard to memorize. And you waggle the joystick left and right to get out of that. There you go! Oh, it went down. Oh, yeah, you have to do that. Lift the tire up when you... Nice. Crush really that car. Get it. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Oh, you're kicking ass. Am I? Ah! Just land on your tires and you're all good. Um, yeah, ah! kind of a cool, fun game. Left, right, left, right. It is cute. It is very cute. Little truck. Oh, you got it anyway. Nice jumping. Oh, hit it with your roof. Ah! Boom! Oh, on your roof. No, not hacks. We are playing through the classic games because it is the Atari 2600s. 45th birthday today. And 
and we're gonna keep eat this cake <laughs> at the end. All of it. Eat this cake all at the end. All of it. Because we played all the games. All the classic Atari games. This is the fourteenth episode of this, <laughs> uh, where we have run through four hundred and forty-eight Atari twenty-six hundred classic games. In four more games, we will have played every single classic Atari game that was ever released to the public. Oh, you made it. Oh, he beat you, though. That's okay. That was fun. That's really cute. Play them again. Did you miss them? <laughs> Huge ass, I'll save you a slice. Yes. <laughs> Do it. Eat the whole cake. Eat the whole cake. It is a dark chocolate cake mm, with dark chocolate chips. Oh. So it's up to... <laughs> Can you mail out a piece to each of the viewers? Ooh. Might be a little small piece. Oh, it's up to put your wheels up? How do you get your wheels up? Oh, it's down. Down. Oh, Pull. okay. It's, That's yeah. weird. Yeah. Down, it's like you're, you're tipping backwards. Oh, okay. Once you get that sense, it's like, oh, it's not so bad. Yeah. You're tipping back. Before you go over things, it makes you and jump. And then it's left and right to rotate I your vehicle? Don't I yeah, don't it is. Woohoo! It's pretty cute. It's I, a, I quite like it. It's a very cute game. It is very cute. Oh. I like the, the play of it. It's pretty simple. Boom. I don't think the um, button does anything, actually. Oh. It's all in the no, game. it's accelerate. Oh, it's accelerate. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. It's super cute. Whee. Bump it. Oh, no, I hit it. Whee. Get over that water. Oh, almost. Yeah, you have to pull you back. Pull back before you hit obstacles. Yep. And you want to land on your tire. Like, that's an obstacle. Uh, yeah, you need to pull back before you hit any obstacles. Ah, oh, it's, it's so It's hard bouncy. to land on your tire, yeah. I don't think I'm doing too bad, but... Oh. Yeah, you have to pull back before you hit any obstacle. Yeah. obstacle. Doing pretty good, though. I don't know if I'll beat him. How do you that's get over hard. that? You have to... I think you have to get Jump a it. good start, yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, I beat him! Woo! I was on easy, though. Yay. Yay. Okay, your turn again. You got... bring some pieces of the cake to PRGE. I'll have to it'll make a new bit, one. It'll be <laughs> a bit... It'll be a bit rotten by then. A oh. bit hard. Go for hard. No, I don't want to play hard. Oh, no, you don't want to have computer. Playing computer. Oh, let's both play. Shrek. Okay. What? Oh! Did, did you, you pick, pick yours? I don't know. Well, we'll see. Are you playing? Yeah. Okay, good. I don't know if these type of tires change anything or not, but... Both have, like, track tires. can't tell who's ahead of the other person. There's no um, progress meter, which would be really helpful. Like just a little bar at the bottom. That's a fun little game. That's really, really good. Okay, next one we have to emulate because it's a light gun game. Ooh. So it will be done with the mouse, actually. It will just be biscotti by that point. <laughs> Yeah, hard biscotti. Hard, dry cake. Uh, so where is it? Oh, we need to switch over to that. Then we need to switch over to Stella. And then it is called a Sentinel. <laughs> Played with a light gun. I am going to play it because mm, sure. um might not reach the mouse. We'll try it. Sentinel. Off what Sentinel's about. Sentinel, made by Atari. Programmed by David Lumbar. David Lumbar. So, can you get that piece of paper off there? Oh, it's awful. It is. Oh, I got hit. As you get hit, um, your, your earth ball gets better. In the sky. Oh, that's got everything. Glow right sticks! Ah, kill the glow sticks! Oh, they're toxic! Oh my god. Get the toxic glow sticks! Ooh. 
That clears the screen. Yeah. We can get the crap. Yes. Oh, I got up in the sky. Yeah. Do get the sword. The volume is a bit high. I oh. want you to say. Sorry. Every game has different volume. That should be better. There's no uh, volume quality control on Atari games. Well, we don't hear the stream either, unfortunately. Yeah, I can see it. You can see the, the levels. The levels, but they change every game, so... I try and do my best, and I have compression on it as well. Oh, uh, that makes it a little, little bit easier. A little bit better. Ah, yeah. oh, I'm falling! So when we do our light gun after st uh, stream, we will play this with a light gun. Cool! So cool I do game. have an Atari right here. And a Sega Master System. That I was going to hack into one, but then you it was have just... a Mega Bomb hit your orb? Really? Oh, let's try it. Here it comes. Here it comes. Boom! Doesn't hit the stuff at the bottom. Oops. That is good. Do I have bullets? There's a lot of stuff on the bottom of the screen that I'm ignoring because I don't have time to do that. Oh, time for the Mega Bomb. Do it! Oh, I only have one! Oh no, I have to shoot it now. This must be a lot harder with the light gun because... You gotta get those things at the bottom. They shoot you. Oh my god. Yeah, you have to get them. Oh, oh no! Just as I was saying, this That's is cool. easy. Might be probably easier with the light gun. <laughs> I think so, because I have to move the mouse yeah, like, it's... manually and aim it. Um, I find light guns easier than mouse. Da -da 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 oh my god, it's the boss! Oh my god, what do I do? Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, there we go. Just have to shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, I'm getting lower, which is not happening. Because then you're in range. Come on, 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 come on! Yay! Beat the boss! Sereptus! Sereptus. Is that my name? Is that the thing I'm going after now? Different. Different background. Ooh. Little different background. Very nice. Brown blobbies in the sky. Oh, wait for it. Wait for it. Shoot it! Shoot it! Oh, what? Oh my god, it didn't clear the screen this time. I thought that cleared the screen I last thought so time. too, but apparently not. What? Different rules on this planet. I gotta shoot everyone. That's good, it's not necessarily good. Get the thing at the bottom. Go oh, to the worst. Oh, Too no, late. No, no. Oh, you can you can enter. Oh. I think I shot it shot. Oh yeah. Very lucky. Oh. That was okay. No, it's the brown guys. Pretty wild games for the 2600. Agreed. This is really good. Oh, oh. Very big enemies, very colorful. Beep, 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 beep. Pretty good. Very nice game. Very colorful. Uh, I bet that's a lot of fun with the light gun. Uh, next one is Xenophobe, which uh, is an arcade game. Okay. And we can play it on... It is not PAL. It's not it was PAL. made by Atari. Question mark under who programmed it or developed it. Nobody's taking credit. Yeah. Nobody's taking the blame. Um, that's always a bad sign. <laughs> It's, it's actually pretty good looking for Is the 2600. Okay. Um, they should have made it two player simultaneous. Bally and Atari. So it's, it's, an, it's an arcade game then. But it's not two player simultaneous. Oh even my goodness. though I think they plan to make it two player. Because look at the. Wow. How come I can't move? Oh, there we go. So you're on an alien ship. A little rough, but interesting. Ah! ah. Is it a xenomorph? Yep. Rather than a xenophobe. There you go. You're the xenophobe. Because I'd be afraid of these things too. Oh, well, I think I should jump over them. Because they take multiple shots. So there's different weapon pickups. This is actually an arcade game. Gotcha. With much better graphics. 
and two players simultaneous. That was one complaint about this. Even though they had the space at the bottom for it, they didn't do it. Ah! Your shot only goes so far. Yeah. Very limited. Look at his tiny little feet as he crawls. <laughs> Funny. Oh, better gun. Oh my god, bigger! Oh, he defeated me. He lured me in with the awesome gun. Ah! Ah! Run! Does it reset him? No, it remembers! Very good! Oh, I can jump over him. Oh, barely. I want that gun. There we go! Oh. oh! There, now I have the better gun, I think. Hopefully. Oh yeah, that's better. Sounds better anyway. Oh, they're oh getting you. God. You gotta get away. Does it shoot further? Oh, I have no bullets left. <gasps> oh, Ooh. game over. Yeah. Games are tending to go to port games from arcades towards the end and the beginning. A game was also made by Brian Collin, who also did Rampage in the arcade. Oh, the arcade was the same. Look at that. Look at that ship. That ship's really good. Player two. Oh. Here we go. Oh. Second choice there. So I, get, I think that's health. Oh, you killed the cute little one. I don't know. Is it cute? It's pretty cute. Is it? Is it it's a cat? A Are you supposed to save the cat? <gasps> no, no. It bit you. Bad cat. Bad cat. Bad space cats. Oh, I wish they took less hits. Yeah. My God. There's a prototype of Xenophobe for the Atari 8-bit, which is for sale. Video 61 is a pretty good port. Oh, is it? Does it have two players simultaneous? Oh, there's a better gun over there, but it has limited shots. And unfortunately, when you run out, you have nothing, so you have to go pick up your other gun. But I guess it's in a good spot because there's a major big alien there. It doesn't look like you can shoot these. No, not with their balls. It's a really hard one there. Ugh. Oh. Destroyed. Take a lot of shots. I don't, I don't get it. Maybe you can't kill them. Get that gun. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh, you keep switching. How oh. do I switch? You just press down once on it. Oh, goodness. There, you got it now. Yay! You did what I could not do. Ah, oh, now they just come They back. just respawn. Screw yeah. those guys. Oh, get that. Whatever it is. Yay! You got something. Do you Hopefully, even help. Need to kill them. Ooh, thing from the ceiling. That's cool. That looked really good. Ugh. Oh, something bad's happening. Head towards the right. Oh, a knife? Is that good? Ran out of time. It's okay. And almost dead anyway. I am dead. Base overrun! Oh no, too many aliens! Zero per Xeno killed. Did I not kill wow. any of them? Oh, 11. 11. Zero of something killed. Hmm. Next one is Ghostbusters 2. Definitely feels like a quarter muncher. There you go. Ghostbusters 2! On PAL, so never mind me handing you that joystick. The last two games are PAL. Oh, I gotta turn this off or it'll keep making noise. Ugh. All right. Last Down two. To the last Down to the last two. two. And this is both of them from 1992. Uh, Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> Ghostbusters 2 is hard as hell. Yeah, it is. They're back. What the heck is this? So you gotta collect the things on those shelves and avoid all those other things. And you go up and down and you swing. What is going on? What is going on? How do I get rid of that? You have to shoot it. Shoot How do it. I shoot it? I can't get back to it. Now I'm dying? Yep, dead. So you have to uh, shoot them as you go down. Yep. 
Oh, come on. Oh, you can aim up. Uh, this is made by Michael Budapage. Put out by Salu Limited. It's a PAL game. 460741. Released in 1992. Get that. Get that. Swing over there. Oh, come on. This looks a lot rougher than the original. Oh, mm. watch your tipping. Yeah. yeah, it didn't. I swung into it and I still didn't pick it up. Almost. Oh my god. Aim up. Get it. There you go. So that's how you do it. Oh, what? Jeez. What a weird game. Old buddy old pal. <laughs> Don't hit that fork. Oh, I have no, I have no shot now. Oh no! I have to get to that. What the help. hell? That's weird. You're not getting it. I'm not getting anything. I... It's a weird ass game. <laughs> it is. Maybe forget that one. There. Go down further. Uh, no, because those things that you, I think that's your shot. Oh. You run out of shot over time. That you have to shoot up because he'll just. Oh, I can get that one. Oh, you got that one. Weird. The other one's right against the wall. I think because it's so close. I think it's worth skipping it. Yeah. Oh, come yeah, on. You, ha you can't What's shoot. What's happening to me? Oh, I guess I'm not dead. See, Ow. you don't want to be there. You have to go past it. It's hard. You just keep going. Up. No, go down. Go Further. down past just it. Just keep going? It doesn't cut you. Oh, I thought it cut the rope. No. Like that. Whatever it is. No, the hand. I don't Go. know. I couldn't. <laughs> I was pressing down Just the whole time. Just keep going down. I was pressing down the whole time. I, you can't get those. I don't know why. Hit the ledge. Oh, I'm running low. It's terrible. It doesn't even have a ghost versus feel. No. I mean, he's got a proton pack. He's fighting ghosts in a well, I guess. I... Yeah. Pseudo graphics says there's an interesting story about xenophobe for the A8. I'll tell you on Discord. Cool. Okay, cool. Uh, it doesn't even have the ghost brushes feel. I don't even understand what the point of this game is. You're just shooting things, but I assume that's shot, like you because you run out of shot after a while. Oh, the the thing on the left? Oh no, that's distance down. Okay. The thing on the left is distance down. Oh come on, I touched that. Look! Yeah, doesn't make any sense. You have to go through it almost. There. I got that one. And the thing on the right is how much power you have, for sure. Because it's going down only when I shoot. It's a super weird game. Ah. Oh. And the life you have is in the middle. Oh, come on. I'll watch if it goes up if I get that thing. You have to go through it. Oh, no. It's weird. You get hung, hung up on ledges. The swinging motion is not bad. Oh, oh we got you. It's too hard. It's a weird game. <laughs> 62 is the bottom. It reminds me of Battletoads when you go down the, the corridor and you have to oh, hit things yes. as you swing back and forth. Battletoads copied this. Yes, they did. What, what year did Do Battletoads come out? you think Battletoads copied Ghostbusters 2? No, this Probably Ghostbusters the opposite. 2 copied Battletoads. This I think you're right. 92. 92, yeah. Battletoads came out. I don't know. Probably before That's that. That's pretty late, actually. Yeah. We're on our very last <gasps> game. The last! The 448th game. 448th game. Called Acid Drop. The very last game ever to be released in the classic wow. run of the 2600. And boy, it is something. <laughs> <laughs> Does it remind you of Pick and Pile? It's a big acid drop on the screen. Uh, made by uh, the same guy who made Pick and Pile. Nice. So hopefully it's better. Uh, Dennis M. Kiss, 460758, released by Salou Limited. Okay, go for it. Yeah, level one's probably good. It's match three. <laughs> what a game to end up on. Oh, kind of off the screen. Let me fix that. Actually, I can't see it. We'll have to make this into a uh, 
Oh, oh what? <laughs> so Atari went out dropping acid. Correct, Metalunar. <laughs> well, it wasn't Atari, but... Is that background music supposed to be Furley's? A little bit of tone in there, nostalgia. <laughs> How come I can't not be full screen? What? You don't want it to be full no, screen? It's, it's stretch? The screen. Think, uh, one second. I think this pre-release doesn't have all the keys. In-game properties adjust vertical center, says thus 26. Oh, thank you. That will kind of help. Does it do it? Oh, you can't see it reflected until you say okay. Uh, 20? Mm, 16. Oh, now you might be able to see the bottom. Ah, I can't get out of full screen mode. Isn't it all to enter? It looks fine. I, I Oh, you're just missing a line at the bottom. Uh, you you're can, seeing most you of it. You can see it now. Okay, that's good enough. Good enough for, for this the final game. game. Oh my goodness, this is it. Gem drop. Thank you, Thrust. Oh, that's slightly different purple. Turn down that music. You're gonna be just drop that, and then I will. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. And then turn it down for us, cause oh my god. Okay, now you can play. Thank goodness for homebrews. Yes. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, they came to the rescue. But I think the first homebrew isn't it a match three or is a Tetris type of game? I think it was. What was the first homebrew? Oh, Rita Foot's gone. He was. Oh. Anybody know off the top of their head? First homebrew game. There was a homebrew utility. Tetris. It was. There you go. A a, a uh, square dropping game. The first, the last game of the run is the same as the first homebrew. It picked up where it left off. It's better than this, though, I'm sure. <laughs> it doesn't collapse lines when they fall. Oh. Like I had three in a row and it wouldn't. <coughs> it didn't disappear at. So, oh, the, pretty basic. The horizontal line? Yeah, it didn't disappear. Oh. I had to put another one. Mm. See if it'll do diagonals. When did the first homebrew come out? Uh, three years after this. 95? Let's see. I believe. First homebrew game? <gasps> no! Woo! Just Oh, it time. didn't do a diagonal. Oh, no, no, no. Too sophisticated. Yeah. Oh, kitties. Too sophisticated. Only vertically and horizontally. Does it do horizontals? Uh, three in a row? Yeah, but just not diagonals. And there's the timer. Developers right. are afraid of trouble. Edris never got released. Oh. Not not officially released, you mean. So the timer went off. So that was the last game. Done. Woo. The black kitten is Yay. here. Yay. Good job, kitties. You did it, kitties. You made it through 448 games. That's right. Let me read off the stats once more. Yeah. So we played for approximately Yay, 45 hours. 45 hours. Over 14 episodes. Wow. Um, and we played 448 unique original games from 1977 to 1992, wow. the discontinuation of the Atari 2600. Yeah. And we ended up September 11th, 2022, the 45th anniversary yes. of the Atari 2600. Yes. And to celebrate, we're going to eat cake. Yes, cake. <laughs> Woo! Oh, and no cake for cats. Oh, bring on the cake. All right. Let's see. Take it off the bottom. Take 
off the candles. Take off the candles. 15 minutes before noon. Yeah. 14 episodes in 45 hours. No wonder I felt like I binged. <laughs> yeah. Where it was a lot. Cut from, cut from the five here. And thank you for tuning in yeah. to this. It says 45 and the Atari symbol on it. Yeah. I don't know if it, let's show it again. Oh, Except geez, we, I just cut into no, it. No, no, that's no, okay. You can still see it. You can still see it. Cat cake. Woo. You can there see you it. There you go. 45. 45 Woo. years. Very nice. Um, let's get the chat back up on the screen. Oh, we there haven't we had go. lunch either, so oh, I'm so we are going to be running around like a crazy black kitten. Meow, 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 meow. All meow, this meow. sugar. It was right. fun. We'll have to revisit in five years. No, in Pass five years, plate. five years, we're going to be playing all the prototypes that never came out. Some of them got finished. <laughs> I'm doing it again next year. Yeah, every year for all the 46th right. anniversary. Thank Hold you. that. I'll put it back up here. room. There you go. So, um, thank you so much to everybody who tuned in. Yes. Time to eat enjoy some. Enjoy your cake. Enjoy your cake. I got a <laughs> bit of the five and you got the bottom of the five. I did. We actually had some of this cake last night. A different, mm. different cake. Mmm. Mm. It's good stuff. Not that many protos. Lots of pretty rough ones. So any surprising standouts? Well, today I only checked checked off one. Really? <laughs> off the wall, mm. which I did like quite a bit. I mean, I liked um, it's not for you, Commando as well. I'll probably check Commando off. Yeah. yeah. It's one of your favorites. Um, I mean, we went through all the other surprise happy good ones um each episode i'll have to make a compilation of my yeah. my favorites yeah when i post wait is that intense meowing in the background yeah it is it's in your house <laughs> yeah it's a little black cat named sprite mm -hmm. please post your checked off games on a others can reply with their surprise faves yes yes happy birthday 2600 yeah may you have another 45 yeah <laughs> Um, continued on with homebrews. Mm -hmm. There's more and more homebrews every year, so mm -hmm. it's not slowing down yet. And, and a huge year this year. It's um, amazing that what people are able to develop for it. And list of the first show. Yes, yeah. I will list it. Show me the list because I'm curious. Oh, I really like... Yes. Yeah. So those were my two. Off the Wall and Commando. Um, the Moto Rodeo was pretty cute. That was really cute. I've never fun. seen that before, and just the flipping, and I, I really like that. Gosh, it. Oh, Kitten! My. It's not even lunchtime. Not lunchtime for you. No. Oh my gosh, can you hear him? I will post a list of all the games uh, after this show as well. <laughs> he doesn't like the fact that we're having cake, and he's not. Um, I do have all this information in a spreadsheet. I would not take it as fact. This is the best information I could get. Yeah. It doesn't have all the information of all the releases from different um, um, regions. I mostly concentrated on NTSC releases. I did put alternate names for other releases. Roadrunner uh, was cute. Sorry. Yeah, Roadrunner. We didn't get very far. No, but it was a really cute game. Felt different. More deprived cat. I know. Oh, he can have treats. Anybody want to give him treats? Is it time for that? Dark Chambers was good too. You um, can really see the gauntlet uh, aspect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There he is. You want treats? Want somebody want to trigger the treats? Nobody. <laughs> I don't think I can trigger my own treats. There Yay, we go. Yay, rat! There we go. Treats are triggered. Treats and cake. Oh, what's wrong with this cake bell? and treats. Oh, weird. Oh. There we go. Maybe that's why it wasn't dinging so much. There we go. There's some bells. Thank you, Packer. Oh, simultaneous dings. Yay. And a gray cat, too. 
Oh, if you like cats, wait till you see this. Yeah. They know how to ding. Oh, the baseball. Yeah, the Pete Rose baseball Actually, was excellent. I'm gonna check off the Pete Rose baseball. Yeah, I thought that, like, I'm not a sports game oh, person. Oh, the golf one. No, no, no. Golf is good too. Yep. Smack um, it harder. Smack it harder. It was my golf. Smack it harder. Good game. Yes. I did like the <gasps> golf. The black one stole it. Oh. I didn't play Secret Quest enough to, um, to understand it, to know if it was like really, really cool or not. Mm -hmm. It looks cool. We didn't get into it enough. Uh, the Pete Rose Baseball. That was it. There you go. I mean, all the games too. Uh, like summer games, winter games, um, California games specifically as well. Holy cow, that's awesome. <laughs> <I knew. laughs> as, soon as, as soon as you said, oh, great cat. I knew you'd like the bell, the bell ringing. Smack it, smack it. Thanks for tuning in, shrapnel. A little harder. Oh, <laughs> good kitty. Kind of pressed Atari, against it. Trip time it. for all. Good kitty. So, that's for you. I hope all of you uh, have a, an excellent 45th Atari birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Have a treat for yourself, treat. too, in there somewhere. Have a cupcake or a donut or a <laughs> glass of water. I don't know. <laughs> or start um, your day drinking early. Yeah. That's right. So on Tuesday... Good gray cat. Tuesday, we're going to get back to regularly scheduled programming with our home brews again. Mm. And we'll never have to play any classic games ever. Mm -mm. No, no. For high scores, we still have to do... Earn our patches for all our Activision games. Mm -hmm. There's only hard ones left. A little bit harder there. Every day is Atari Day, especially since um, Draconia came out. 100% mm -hmm. agree. That is one of my favorite homebrew games. You're very welcome, Nostalgic. Thank you for being with us and watching the marathon. Hopefully mm -hmm. everyone uh, discovered a couple games that they didn't know about before. That were some hidden gems that they may not have known about. And for you. Because there's a lot Atari. Get it, Atari. of games uh, that we played that surprised us. Atari. Mr. Zarno Whoop said, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Bo well Good done, both kitty. of you. COVID couldn't stop you. No. On our oh. worst day, COVID would have stopped Yes. Us. We were but a little sick, but we're, we're getting better slowly. We're like half a week past COVID. Yeah. Now. There you go. It's all done. No all more. done. No nope, more. Nope, 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 nope. That's how you get chonkers cats. Yeah. Nobody wants chonkers cats. No one wants chonkers. You have to roll them into the room. <laughs> roll them to the vet. Um, so coming up, we have a lot of great shows. We have an Atari Link Lynx. Cakes. Atari Lynx special. You can see the Atari Lynx uh, right in the cat cam there. Yep. Just on the top end. of it on its end, on top of the Commodore 64. Yep. And uh, so we'll be playing a bunch of Atari Lynx games. I'm going to be contacting Excited some of the that. developers, letting them know that we can now stream Atari Lynx games through uh, digital VGA out. And uh, we're also going to be playing ABBUC entries mm -hmm. at the end of October. We have the exclusive world premiere of Load Runner 2600 on October 7th, right there. Oh, that's really small. Sorry, everyone. There we go. Uh, Load Runner and a live interview with the developer Dion Olsthorn. <phone rings> yep, we don't need you anymore. <laughs> You're done. Sorry. Stopwatch is done. Uh, we're going to be at Portland, Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Yes. Um, on October 14th to 16th, we're going to have a meetup on the 15th. That's at, the plan. What's Already it forgotten. I don't know. Rocket Ship Arcade. Yeah. <laughs> I always it called? forget I, what it's called. We looked it up last time. The big, too. the big arcade yeah. in, in Portland. Um, right over the head. On Saturday night. Mm. Um, so be there. We'll give more details as it gets closer. Mm -hmm. We're going to do some interviews at Portland Retro Gaming Expo with a bunch of developers. Excited for uh, that. Check out all the new games that are there. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have Atari Age Day 2022 Part 2. After Portland Retro Gaming okay. Expo, after it's gonna they've be a, released all their games, it's going to be a two-parter no, because there's really? so many games. Wow! Okay, so many games. It's out yeah. of control. We have to split it into two. Um, oh my God! What else? So many. We're going to have uh, Jalaga exclusive world premiere for the Jaguar. It's Galaga and the Jaguar. Cool. Looks awesome. 
We're going to have the Elevator Agent exclusive world premiere from Champ Games. Uh, of course, every year we have Champ Games Secret Homebrew. <laughs> Don't know what it is. Nobody does. Always exciting. Only Nathan Strum and... and uh, uh, Ah, uh, John Champo. John Champo. Yeah, no. And whoever else worked on it. Uh, my wallet fears this year's <laughs> yeah. releases. You better fear. It's it's a lot. So <laughs> pick your favorites, maybe. Uh, we have an Uno Plus Cart special with live interviews with some of the developers that work on the Uno Cart Plus Cart mm -hmm. and some unbelievable things they're doing with the Uno and Plus Cart. Mm -hmm. You will not believe these things. They are crazy. They look so good. We have a live interview with Old Style, um, and we have the exclusive final version of Mario Brothers for the 7800, mm -hmm. plus one or two more unannounced games, world premieres for the 7800 from him as well. Mm -hmm. Boom! They're going <laughs> to blow your mind. They're so good. If you think Mario Brothers is good, you just wait for it. Developer Spotlight on Todd Fermansky later on, after he's done Harpy's Curse. Uh, we're going to do Developer Spotlight on Chris Walton. Um, probably coincided with the final release of Xevious that he's worked on for the 2600. Very cool. Uh, there it is, Atari Age Day 2022 Fall Edition. Oh, that's duplicated. I can remove that. Um, and the rest are just... Oh, there it is. Uh, Atari Age's... Oh, what is that? Oh, Atari Age's 25th anniversary celebration. 25th! Next year, Atari Age turns, turns 25. 25. There you go. Uh, so we're going to celebrate that. <laughs> I'd like a nostalgic comment. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think he has. It's amazing. He took some time off, too. He must, <laughs> he must, he must need vacations. Yeah, because he makes one a week. <laughs> Either <laughs> completes one or starts one yeah. every week. Yeah. Uh, and then we're in... Uh, couple years we're going to do atari 7800's 40th anniversary nice. classic game and countdown nice luckily i think there's only 78 games that's a lot less to go through so we can do it in two shows yeah <laughs> <laughs> a lot easier but we'll get to play all the 7800 games uh i think that's all the big ones all the highlights for now all the highlights for now yeah I'm gonna go collapse and die after this because I my head is oh no so full and swimmy oh no it was a long show you need some tea I do some tea and some rest it was a uh, four and a half hour show wow yeah so lots coming up on zero page homebrew we're not slowing down we're speeding up yes <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> lots There's going too on too much stuff still waiting for DPC plus support of my Uno cart well maybe. Uh, Doug Smith would be definitely be proud of whoever managed to port Load Runner to the 2600. It's not here anymore to see that. Oh, I did not know that. Oh, that sucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do a deep dive into Load Runner. Yes. We'll look at all the different ports of it uh, and uh, play the new one when it comes out, when it's ready. Uh, and cake. And, and cake. cake. We're going to have cake. I'm going to sit on the couch and eat Oh, cake. I just, I demolished mine while we were fitting, yeah. we were treating the cats because it's tasty. So, once again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in to this 14-day, <laughs> 45-hour marathon of all the classic games. <laughs> uh, didn't know how it would go, but it went pretty oh, well. Oh, it went, it was so much fun playing all these yep. games I'd never played before. Yep. Even though I get a little frustrated with the ones where you're just like, how am I a supposed to play this? Just a tiny bit. Yeah. But, uh, so thanks. it's still fun. Huge ass, pseudographics, Elena Whisper, Whispank. Oh, when's the next show? It is on Tuesday. Tuesdays. 6 p.m. Pacific time, 9 p.m. Eastern time. So we'll be back to our Tuesdays and Fridays. Yes. Yeah. It will be Atari 2600 games. On Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, including, actually, um, Hero 2, a new hack nice. from Brazil from Game Select. Yeah. That just went on sale. Um, so there you go. Oh. oh. That's excellent. 2600 Just... restored. Yay. Oh, excellent, Elena Whisper. Wisp Angle Shipper. That's <laughs> quite a name. Um, so now you're ready for all the awesomeness. Get yourself a Harmony Encore. Yeah. So you can play all the games. Oh, and Trek MD already ordered Hero 2. Excellent. Oh, and yeah, do the High Score Club. Absolutely. That's a lot of fun. Uh, so thank you for tuning in, Elena Wisp Angle Shipper. Oh, and you have a plus card. You're ready. You're ready. Uh, Trek MD, uh, Pseudo Graphics, Shrapnel 21. Mike Soul, Nostalgic, Metal Lunar 7. Uh, lots of people today. Carl G, Packrat, Mr. Zarnawoop, 
Master, Master Casey. Ah, that's a new name. Yorgi's Castle. Charles Wheeland. Trust. Thank you, Thomas, again for helping out with uh, behind the scenes with this mm -hmm. marathon for pointing me in the right direction for things. Alna Fur. Info. Oh, Trapnel is a first time chat. Yeah, What's that? very That's awesome. nice. Uh, yeah, Alan the Fur. Charles Wheeland. Uh, uh, Mike Latow. Lots of people today. Oh, yeah. You knew we were at the end. A lot of chatter. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Arena Foot. Arena Foot. I know yeah, left a little earlier. Right. Carl G. Oh, that's the end of All right. the buffer. That was fun. Anybody else? Nope, Thanks nope, for the nope. show and the intense meowing. Meow, meow. Yeah. He's upstairs meowing away too. Yeah. He just wants constant attention and treats. And I have to go to I have to work on my new intro and extra for the show. Oh, you're coming up with new ones. Yes. I don't know Ooh, when that'll be, probably fancy. months. I've got some Got lots to do. Music possibly lined up. <laughs> I'm gonna see some other options. Okay. And then I have to do all the graphics. Which yeah, it takes who time. knows when that's gonna be done. <laughs> It might be for season uh, six. Six? Oh my god. Are we up to season six? That's in March. That's after the uh, awards. Gotcha. So it might take that long. Maybe I'll get it done before then. Well, have we been on the air that long? Yeah, almost five years. Wow. Four and a half years. Wow. Four and a half years. So uh, thanks once again. Cake, cats, cake, and retro, retro video games. games. Woo! Woo! That's a great afternoon right there. It is. So we will see you on Tuesday. Make sure you tune in back for some homebrew, back yeah. to the regular schedule programming. So we'll see you on Tuesday. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.